Что ты? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. May I be permitted to mention, my lord, this matter, my lord, relating to my lord, uh, uh, leave to appeal, my lord. My lord, the, the, this matter appeared, and your lordship direction to uh, have complied with, have served, mm. and this matter is running in the list, my lord, as uh, uh, item number. Uh, uh, this, this matter came up as item number sixty, obligated fourth of April to two thousand twenty-four. Mm. And this matter, my lord, uh, maybe my lord, uh, some, some application, my lord, this matter to be. How it is? Uh, what is the serial number now? Today? See, uh, today is not uh, appearing. Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is holiday. That's why, my lord. All right. Next week we will upgrade. Uh, some but upgrade. Maybe may, 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 may leave to file my appeal with a certified copy, my lord. Leave granted. We have applied for certified copy. My lord, copy. with the leave of the Honorable Chief Justice, my lord, may I be permitted to mention a matter before Honorable Justice Bhattacharya, my lord? My lord, my lord was sitting in the vacation bench. My lord has passed an entry order in my favor, my lord. In violation of that order, my lord, the factory shed has been broken, my lord. Why are you mentioning before the division bench? Mention when I am sitting singly. My lord, it is a division bench order, my lord. Uh, when my lord was sitting with another division bench, my lord, in the vacation bench. bench. My lord. With justice? With justice, Supritam Bhattacharya, my lord. I am uh, uh, passing the order, my lord, and the mentioning slip, my lord. Okay. Great for me. Yeah, Lord, some kind leave to me, my lord, uh, seek leave to file a uh, matter, my lord, without certified copy. Mm. But my lord, this is my, a circuit bench matter which was parted here, mm. and my lord, matter was being taken up here. Mm. So my lord, we are mentioning before your lordship, my lord, uh, though these benches there, my lord, but the matter has always throughout been heard here, my lord. The order has been passed. Then yesterday. you give a letter to the OSD on yeah. the administrative side. I will pass the order. But my lord, the leave to file without the certified copy, the order is dated yesterday, my lord. So we do not have the certified copy. We'll also put in the letter, Malad, for the determination, ah, okay. for the uh, Malad, uh, assignment. But Malad, the leave is to be given, Malad. You have got the server copy. Server copy is there. All right. Give grant. Great. Malad, uh, mm. again, Malad, I am mentioning, Malad, this matter, Malad, regarding public interest litigation, Malad, this matter was, uh, Malad, uh, uh, no, Malad, this is not public interest litigation, Malad. This, uh, this is matter, uh, item number 367 of the combined list, Malad, this matter. Malad. My Lord, I'm praying for leave of this honorable court to file two appeals without the certified copy. Yeah. My Lord, may I be permitted to mention, my Lord, in your lordship list, my Lord, inclusion for admission, my Lord. Admission, yes. Lord, yes, thanks, Koli. So, uh, our matter is number 16 on the list for after original matter should be listed in the second half. So, I request you, will be sitting in the second half, sir? Today, I think we will be sitting. Huh? Yes. So, we'll take up my matter, sir. So, and second thing you told me to last day hearing that uh, to mention about the uh, uh, restoration of our 13 by 4, mm. you will give the observation today. We'll see. We'll see. When we take it up, we'll consider. Yeah, we'll just kind of leave to mention for upgradation, my lord. For what is the urgency? Urgency is my lord. The IRCDC may cancel our contract, my lord, anytime, my lord. You are... Uh, uh, this, this matter, my lord, this is regarding, my lord, the challenging the demand raised by the IRCDC of revised license fee, my lord. And the IRCTC has... Uh, what, what is the serial number? No. Uh, monthly is item number 73, my lord. Today's list. Uh, month, monthly combined list. You give, let us see the file. Original. It's, huh? Original. Original side. It's running in the list now, today. Monthly. You give the letter, let us see. Hmm? So, Lord, may I be permitted to mention, my Lord, to opt in leave, my Lord, without server copy of the order, my Lord. Because your Lordship kindly, yesterday I have mentioned the matter, your Lordship, your Lordship has upgraded the matter. My Lord, the direction of the tribunal to release the goal. Challenging that order, we have preferred the appeal. The appeal is today in item number 15 of the original site. In the meantime, they have preferred, after receiving our appeal, my Lord, they have further filed. Today, what is the serial number? Uh, today's item number 15. In the at, at 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. But uh, the come. read petition has been, they have moved where in the see, we'll see. at the time of hearing your lordship. If I got my lord certified copy, your lordship kindly allow me to mention the word. My lordship, I mean, Konikapal government, Kotubini Bully, read will come. Malachan, good morning. Amar it cut to Judy, Amar it cut Tamaki, the old Jamami in person, Amar in person, Kadami, Pine, that Jamami, if you go to Vatina, are I mean, minor Vatina, sir. 
মাই লর্ডস এ আমি একটা টাকাও পাচ্ছি না ওয়্যার দ্য ম্যাটার ইজ পেন্ডিং ম্যাটার কোথায় পেন্ডিং আছে আমি পুলিশের কেস করব না কোর্ট কোর্টে না আমি দিদি উত্তীর্ণ হওয়ার পর আমি আর কোনো কাজ করব না নাথিং ইজ পেন্ডিং সব উইল কনসিডার প্লিজ কল দ্য লিস্ট यस স্যার আই উইল original side mentioning lot you will hello uh, yes. original side mentioning well this is a matter where my lot at heart the uh, mr om narayan rai and mr mukherji bhi for the appellant it is over this is that atibir 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 or she by nclt proceeding or she all was over mr bachavat had taken time for three day lot you this is i may have some reservation in continuing to hear the matter continue hearing the matter i still let it to make up my mind then keep it as to be mentioned and then the any day malo and then in in no. that turn of events is not very appreciable hmm and keep it as to i have not experienced this in this past 3 years huh but uh, let me see hmm? it, it is running in the list today monthly list it is in the monthly, monthly list you you just remind me the 7168 no uh, let the court officer remind me very well mentioning or notice uh, 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 appellate side delhi list under dating for judgment serial number 1 ha ami util ami kinchi dekhte pailo accept chupro bare ami thakbo na amar ekta nijer kaj ache ar apni jodi case file chan ami case file kore debo apnar pote ha apni apnar pote case file kore appeal dismissed grateful কাইন্ডলি this is the letter my lord oh. my lord kindly give liberty to file a fresh my lord with self same cause of action kindly my lord proper adjudication my lord the, the petition cannot be no, no. in earlier occasion they kindly filed a writ petition that my lord this is me. the noc brief my lord directing to go my lord, before kindly give liberty my lord kindly my lord. yes my lord that obje- that observation was made by this honorable court my lord how the writ petition is entertained my lord kindly pardon sir you are not audible mr debashish my lord yes yes my lord my lord am i audible my lord ah uh, yes my lord on earlier occasion this petition was dismissed on the ground that it need not be the subject matter of appeal page number 13 on on on, ma- on merit my lord it was dismissed on earlier occasion an xrp2 all right you have heard the learned advocates for the parties the learned advocate appearing for the petitioner has circulated an undated letter stating that the petitioner um wants to wants to withdraw this petition since certain particulars are missing with liberty to file a fresh writ petition on the same on the self same cause of action mm-hmm. the prayer for withdrawal of the writ petition is not opposed by the respondent yeah. but however the prayer for granting liberty to file a fresh petition on the same self same cause of action is objected 
we found that the earlier the earlier uh, the petitioner had moved another moved a public interest litigation in WPAP 448 of 2022 for a, for an identical relief and the same was dismissed by the honorable division bench by order dated 15 9 uh, with the liberty to the petitioner to approach such other forum or invoke such other remedies as are available in law. Thereafter, the present writ petition has been filed. Thus, considering the uh, facts, come on, no liberty can be granted to the petitioner to file a fresh uh, writ petition on the self-same cause of action. Hence, writ petition dismissed. Okay, High love, Lester, my lord. High love, Lester, my lord. Serial number three. Mm -hmm. three. And, uh, three, my lord. Uh, and for the applicant, my lord, we have taken out an application for addition of party, my lord. Uh, my lord, it is that matter, my lord, where, my lord, the B8, my lord, uh, grant of renewal of affiliation in respect of the, by the university, my lord, for the, my lord, the uh, B8 courses, my lord. My lord, the, there is but a direction. Your, yours is CAN 46. Is 43 it? to 46. But uh, in this matter, my, by order dated 19 March 2024, Malad has been pleased to direct the university to process the application of those applicants, Malad, and to Malad, the, also to indicate whether there is a deficiency and to indicate the same and to further direct it if there is a deficiency to uh, to Malad, the, permit them to cure the same Malad and to grant Malad provisional Malad, the affiliation Malad. Here, Malad, the petitioner person to direction Malad, but the university issued notification on 20th February 2024 Malad, public notice. 43 to 46. Public notice was. First question. Only sufficient. But they are already respondents in the writ petition. What is the necessity of including them as parties? No, no, no. We are not in respondents. Yes, respond number no, uh, Yesterday, somebody mentioned. Yes, Mr. Uh, Vishuru Bhatta. The portal is not being my lord, and, my lord. and in fact, Mr. Jaydeep Kar, a senior advocate, when he appeared, he said uh, he'll sort out the things, advise. Yes, yes, my lord. Last but the four institutions are before Lordship, my lord. We have deposited in one matter, we have all, deposited. All the colleges you know, who had been affiliated, you know, they had been granted access to the portal. It hmm. was open till 5th of April, April, which was the last date. Oh. And what so your Lordship. These four. But we have my lord, please come to but the submitted our documents nine submitted our document person to the email sent know. by the university my lord. but till date my lord, no my lord, the link has no, not no. we will direct them to process in the event you are found to be eligible they will grant professional affiliation no, no, paragraph eight my of your lordship's order till the matter is heard and decided the respondent number six to fifteen are restrained from inviting any application for any of the courses which they propose to conduct and it goes without saying that no admission of students shall be done by these institutions. But they can't admit without a provisional of Yes. But yes. now it's that they, according to them. On 12th of March 2024, they were called to present not with the teachers. Hmm. None of the, they could not present any of the teachers. For, Marad, we, Marad, we have depo Marad, Marad, uh, we have deposited Marad, affiliation fee, my lord. Marad, on 29 uh, January 2024, my lord. That will be refunded. This can 43, the institution is. Talund, MR, and Talund. Mahanta College. Yes. On 12th of March 2024, the university has sent a communication asking you to we request you to come to the university with all the teachers physically who are included in the ECH, ERC just faculty list. With the, I'm sorry, Milad, uh, kindly pardon me. But why don't you go with your teachers? See, we can't issue any direction for grant of affiliation. If you comply with their queries, you approach them. Not in so far as we not uh, your lordship is looking at can forty three. You know can forty three. Uh, the only thing which is awaited is this. You know it's already a respondent number fifteen. Talunda, mm -hmm. why have you applied for implement? It's already a respondent. You are already a respondent, sir. Why have you filed for addition of parties? Respondent number fifteen. No, what we will say is in respect of all these four colleges. Hmm? 
they will respond to the communication sent by the university my lord university will on satisfied compliance of whatever uh, queries they have raised my lord they will process your application if it is found um, um, i mean lord. acceptable they will grant you provisional lord. application great yes. and yes. then it will yes yes well i am agreeable in all these uh, applications not only the sole difficulty would be you not know, pursuant to the honorable court's order and the portal was opened which has been closed on now, now we will issue direct um, uh, all these application the rest of the petty applicants see seek for uh, addition of party in the public interest litigation it is pointed out by the learned advocate appearing for the respondent university mm -hmm. that the applicant in can 43 of 2024 is already a respondent in the writ petition be that as it may the grievance of the applicants in all these applications is that that their uh, uh, application for grant of provisional affiliation slash affiliation is not being processed by the respondent university the learned advocate for the respondent university has produced a copy of the communication sent to the applicant in can 43 of 2024 dated 12 3 2024 wherein the management was directed to come to the university with all the teachers physically who are included in their erc all capitals faculty list with aadhar card comma appointment letter comma joining letter and other documents further the institution was directed to bring original dbt to verify its authenticity the baki bolo to tumko notification the baki bolo institution was advised to come to the university on 13 32024 at 3 pm the learned advocate for the responding university submitted that the uh, uh, the institution has not responded to the said communication <laughs> since this is a public interest petition calendar they diye chhe amader time ta we cannot um examine as to whether the institutions would be entitled for affiliation but however there can be a direction issued to the university to process the application and to pass orders in accordance with law therefore these applications are disposed of with the direction that the respect the respective applicants in all these applications shall approach the responding university and respond to all the queries clarifications and directions issued by the university upon satisfactory uh, compliance of all the documentation uh, all the parameters the university shall take up the respective applications for affiliation and consider the same and if permissible under law grant provi provisional sla slash uh, provisional affiliation slash affiliation to the respective university uh, in institutions in the event such affiliation is granted then the portal shall be or uh, the portal shall be open opened by the university for a short period so as to enable the institutions to upload the required information and also seek for admission of candidates in the event any of these institutions fail to comply with the uh, requisite um norms then the university shall pass a order to the said effect and communicate the same to the respective applicant institutions you know only only one humble submission you know kindly pardons me you know this letter which my senior produced you know it is only in respect of can 43 yes 44 45 46 no no such communications we have received a blanket communication on the 19th you know by way of email you know that is part of the records in this application all 96 colleges whose names are are required to submit all necessary papers so that will be covered by your lordship sort all that is the earlier order it will be covered it covers, it it covers your lot by your lot so far it is submitted by the learned advocate for the applicant that so far as the institutions which are applicants in can 44 45 and 46 of 2024 no come in a, a general communication was received yes and the respective institutions have responded to the yes. general Great. communication right this aspect also shall be examined by the respondent yes yes so the eight of page next but i am told not they have not uploaded any material yes, yes, yes. we have
next year please. next year only admission no, no, we have very we shall very well 24 25 right, extremely grateful to you yeah. and sorry to trouble you a lot no problem next serial number 4 nothing pending okay. item 4 now in this matter i am appearing for the appellant test hmm. not say i am the respondent appearing in person ah uh, yes yes Applicate long here. long time since we have seen you <laughs> my lord after a long time you are appearing busy. before you are watching you are otherwise any busy. matters have been filed my learned in person or kindly or Again, two. Malo, this is the application for 40 days delay for filing this instant appeal. Malo, uh, your opposing so setup lawyer has changed. That's why. Malo, delay can be controlled. Uh, my, my exception is there, my lord. Uh, What on, is the information you sought for? That is the inspection report, my lord. The information sought for is the inspection report. Inspection report of of uh, the unified SM cadre made some inspections. Unified. Unified station master cadre. They made some inspections. Mm. So we saw the inspection report only. Very good. So uh, appellate authority, the first appellate authority, he directed the uh, public information officer to serve the information within a fortnight. Mm. But the public information officer denied. Mm. After that, the matter went to Central Information Commission, and then I filed a, after passing of the order of the Central Information Commission, challenging the same. I filed a uh, Central Information Commission. No, they didn't uh, rejected. Rejected. After that, I filed a writ petition before the Honorable High Court. Hmm. So Honorable High Court directed the public information officer to furnish the item-wise information, such as the inspection reports and some train numbers, name of the crews, such and such, within a fortnight. So that fortnight is over. Uh, I didn't receive after serving two uh, two notices on fifth and twenty seventh of December two thousand twenty three. Let As, us see the CIC's order. Yes. Now kindly see page thirty six. My learned friends have made an application under section six of the Right to Information Act. This is the two right queries right kindly furnish the two copy of the fourth page inspection report conducted from Loco Pilot Cap uh, and uh, Rev Undo fourth plate inspection report conducted from Train Managers Cap from. Zero one first uh, June two thousand twenty two till date conducted by employees working under unified SM cadre performing in a special job within the jurisdiction of Shalda Division. Second point, my lord, kindly furnish information about train number, name of the inspection authorities, vehicle, guardians of concern, train and for which inspection were made, legible copies of the permits issued by senior DOMO Shalda on behalf of the employees working under unified SM cadre performing in a special. Job to conduct inspection from local pilot, the train managers from 1st June 2022 till date, and then my lord, the order passed by the page number 49 of M2, K1. And the first, then my learned friend has made an against that order. They made a first appeal, page 38, before the additional DRM, and order passed on page 39, and subsequently my lord, the second appeal has been preferred by my learned friend. Page forty one and the order passed, my lord. The disposed of page forty seven to forty nine, my lord. The second appeal order hearing. Page forty seven to forty nine. Finally, what is page fifty? Fifty, my lord. That is the judgment, my lord. So far, I think, my lord, this is the another. That is another another, judgment, uh, another judgment. matter. This is the same But, matter, uh, the, matter, my lord. The, the information officer. In for yes, while lord, passing the, the order says. That it is confidential information. Yes, my as and they plead protection under section eight. Yes, my manual, my lord, and these railway service rules. I have handed over to the service rules, my lord, also. And how? What is and, the? My lord, the service rules, my lord, kindly see for a moment, and the manual, my lord. Please don't go there. Correct. You can send requisition to library. Can you see the uh, service rules? Conduct Malo 1996, uh, 66 Malo. Uh, rule three, general rule, clause 20. Maintain confidentially in the performing of his official duties as required by any laws for the time being in force, particularly with regard to information disclosure of which may prejudicially. 
affect the sovereignty and integrity of India, the security of the state, statistics, scientific and Where are you reading? of the state. Where are you reading? My lord, reading my lord, the service, uh, railway yeah. service yeah. rules 1966, Appendix. my lord, the uh, uh, Appendix 1, and my lord, the General 3, huh? 20, Clause 20, my lord. General, General 3, Clause 20, Roman 20. Page Roman 20. 20. Yes, my lord. Maintain confidentiality. And also manual, operating manual for railways, Indian railways, my lord, also day to day, that is the specific, my lord, my learned friends have kindly see the uh, index, my lord, 11 and 12. Page that is the inspection, it is the most vital page, my lord, the uh, handed over, hmm. uh, A, 6 and 7, relevant portion. Discuss the irregularity or lapses noticed during inspection. Have you lost it? Got it, my lord? The manual. In, <coughs> index, you said 11 and 12. Yes. Uh. Manual, my lord. The uh, my last page, my lord. The last page, but one. Last page, one. Mm. Six and seven. Discuss the irregularity. Yes. Discuss the irregularity or lapses noticed during inspection with the staff actually doing the work as well as those supervising their work. Such a discussion will prove to be educative and produce useful results. Mm. That is the manual said and that is the day-to-day -day life, my lord, the DRM and other senior staffs, my lord, day-to-day, -day, the cake, the and this all. Mm. That is the internal uh, matter, my lord. This is the railways matter. So, third person, they why my London friend is so interested with the line or platform or whatever it may be, train or set or whatever it may be. That is the internal management we put in the railway authorities. Uh, in this context, my lord, uh, may I have, have they have no right to know everything <laughs> and. Already, I have communicated after filing this contempt application, my lord, uh, divisional railway manager, my lord, already communicated the order uh, my, to my learned friend. Being not satisfied, the no, no, the learned judge has taken a stand. I mean, was of the view. That uh, subsequent refusal on 25th of August 2022 by citing section 81D and 81E is in gross contradiction of the order passed by the first appellate authority. But we find the first appellate authority has not given any reasons. No, he, uh, he said that he is not with the contention of the public no, information. No, that is not officer. sufficient. No, you please see the first appellate authority's order. Yes. Uh, page number. Page number uh, 26 of the main uh, petition, Your Lordship. And for CAN 1, it is page number 40, 40. Yes, page, the 13, last, last, page 39. Page 39. At the bottom I of have the gone page. through the matter. I do not agree with the contention. Suppose hmm. we write this judgment. We do not agree with the finding of the learned single judge. Mm -hmm. Appeal allowed. Mm -hmm. Order set aside. Is it sufficient? That is, that is, that they are pleading 81D. Yes. Hmm? Confidentiality of the information. Hmm. There may be so many internal matters. Yes. As a third party, of course, your local standy under the provisions of RTA Act, nobody can question. Mm -hmm. even. But they can always plead that this information is exempt. They for, cannot convey this information. For that, my lord. Uh... And the appellate authority has not given any reasons. Mm -hmm. It says, I do not agree. But it's a direction to the public information. Officer. No, he has to set aside. See, if you see the uh, information officer's order, mm -hmm. yes. uh, uh, please see that page number. Uh, page 37. 37. Sort information. Sort information is confidential in nature and cannot be disclosed under 81. Uh, D and E of the Right to Information Act 2005. Yes, my lord. For that only. For that purpose. So you filed, rightly filed an appeal. Yes, I am telling, I am telling that. Um, uh, the appellant showed total five, five grounds uh, for the denial of the information. The first ground, my lord, please see CAN number, oh, CAN 1, page 37. They said the information is confidential in nature. Very well. In page number 41, when appellate authority 
uh, for, uh, provided the uh, has given the direction to file the uh, to submit the uh, inspection report they said that the information is exclusively for office use only mm. the third ground uh, my lord please see can one page number 80 80 80 yes in 80 they are saying that information is refused for future train tender and functioning of the railways it is, it is incorporated in the order page 8 uh -huh. 80 sir 80 my lord the order the order uh, order in june fourth one now i file the uh, contempt application number c pen of 41 of 2024 there during the argument initial argument the my learned friend submitted that that due to the reshuffling of the staff they they could not provide the information and the fifth one that is a very interesting they have submitted a fdpd in opposition in terms of the uh, contempt application and there they said that it is clearly in, uh, identified in page, paragraph number 3d 5 6 and 7 mm. the petitioner is mischievous can is have under over this the in my no but the initial stand is that they seek uh, umbrage under section 81d and e yes if the order passed by the public information officer mm -hmm. is not to the satisfaction of the appellate authority he should pass an order with reasons yes In the affidavit, my lord, we have filed this affidavit by incorporating the order passed by. But the... who impersonated? They say last but not the least, your suspicion, mischievous act of capturing the Dum Dum Cantonment Railway Station panel on twenty five four by impersonating yourself as headquarter official and operating the panel without having any knowledge for more than an hour, which literally put the life of thousand passengers. That at... is the allegation upon me. That is the allegation upon you me, and the, that is the ground. Yes, they, that is the allegation upon me. Several, no, no, no. Applications. My lord, that is that is under trial, but uh, that is the allegation upon me for denial of the information without considering yes. the learned. No, no. The judge, that, my lord, that, that, that is one order. paragraph. <laughs> but last but one, most most importantly, the information sought for is very much confidential in nature. Mm. Involves safety, security of railways, furnishing such kind of information before an outsider. specifically like you definitely will put internal mechanism at stake which must hamper which may hamper the safety and security of yes now my lord please come to page number 70 of the can 1 hmm. 70 hmm this is the inspection report furnished under rta act by the by the same authority cial the division eastern railway please please come to page number 71 also hmm 71 to uh Seventy-six. This is the inspection report. So inspection report can be can, can be furnished under RTA. Hmm. There is no confidential because they are the public servant. They are conducting the inspection for the public purpose only. They are. So this is another case. This is another case. This is another case because I am giving the instance that the inspection report can be furnished under RTA. That is the that is the instance, my lord. And also that that is the Supreme Court uh, Supreme Court direction also, my lord. Uh, please come to page number sixty-nine, paragraph number ten. A contempt application was filed, and the uh, order passed by Honorable Justice L. Nageswara Rao and Honorable Justice Mr. Emersha. Please see the paragraph number ten. But the learned judge has allowed your writ petition on the ground that they are taking inconsistent stand. But the stand appears to be confidentiality. No, how can it could be confidential, my lord? That is that is, is what for them to take a stand. No? The, for them, it it may be confidential, but the but the uh, learned single judge, when after hearing both the parties, but it is a sensitive information. Probably, you are trying to get uh, some uh, somebody is trying to get this information to defend some disciplinary action caused on account of a railway accident. Could be. maybe it is not all for me but maybe but uh, why did you go and operate that panel in no that time? is allegation upon me my lord it is not proved you don't go i it is not proved it is it is not proved that is a allegation there are several allegations my lord i can show you that eastern railway made several allegations upon me he did such and such such and such thing all but right, that is not it, that not, not be the ground of all right, that but it's a interesting question we'll hear you but uh... <laughs>
now there is another another judgment uh, that is also no no we'll hear you because today it's coming uh, to under the caption to be mentioned yes because yes. there is the extent and, and personal appearance on made on uh, 12th that, so we have, that we have already dispensed with no eight but this is the i mentioned this uh, or matter okay. before the before your lordship said the right. we have heard till and that is a capable mistake on an eight. interesting question of law yeah. calls for consideration in this appeal namely as to whether the appellant from a railway administration can be compelled to divulge the information sought sought for by the respondent writ petitioner from appearing in person the public information officer rejected the request on the ground that that the the information sought for is confidential in nature and cannot be disclosed under section 8 within bracket 1 within bracket small d and and within bracket small e of the right to information act 2005 agreed by such order the respondent filed an appeal before the first appellate authority namely the additional divisional railway manager within bracket roman 1 sialda division eastern railway by order dated 24 8 the appellate authority allowed the appeal and directed the information to be furnished on perusal of the order we find that it is a non speaking order and the first appellate authority has not given any reasons as to why the conclusion arrived at by the public information officer pleading confidentiality and referring to section 81d and e of the rta act is incorrect therefore uh, prime fc the order requests calls for interference not satisfied with the direction issued the respondent approached the central information commission um, the central information commission has passed a detailed order dated 2992 correct yes cic is order date order dated my lord the uh... Yes, thirtieth November twenty twenty three. Order, but subsequent order, my lord, the passed on eight uh, March two thousand twenty four. That is page, the appeal. Page number. Uh, that is that has not been annexed. After filing this application, my lord, this matter was moved on eighth. My lord, my learned friends. After filing this application, this order that uh, this appeal has not been. Yes. On what date? Twenty nine nine twenty three. Yes, twenty nine or twenty nine. Ah. That is, that is at page number 49 forty nine forty nine yes uh, first detail order dated twenty nine nine twenty twenty three uh, uh, affirming the order passed by the sent uh, chief uh, the um, passed by the public information officer challenging the same the red petition was filed. the learned single bench by the impugned order has faulted the railway administration of having taken contradictory stance contradictory stand comma in gross contradiction of the order passed by the first appellate authority and therefore the same is not sustainable as observed earlier the order passed by the first appellate authority is devoid of reasons the reasons and cannot be construed to be a, a proper order in the if law the senior division of operation manager comma eastern railway sialda has sent a communication to the respondent petitioner dated 7 2 2024 purported to be in compliance with the direction issued by the learned writ court dated 30th november 2023 wherein a clear stand has been taken that the information sought for is very much confidential in nature and involves safety and security of railway and furnishing such information to an outsider 
will put the internal mechanism of railway at stake which will hamper safety and security of railway and passenger in the said communication there is an allegation that the respondent had captured the dum dum cantonment railway stations panel on 25 4 by impersonating himself as headquarters official and operating the panel without having any knowledge for more than an hour which put the life of thousands of passengers at stake in this regard an fir has been lodged against the respondent and the and the staff concerned in charge of the panel cabin has been uh, uh, um, and uh, disciplinary action has been initiated against the staff in charge of the panel cam panel cabin the petitioner appearing the respondent petitioner appearing in person has denied such an allegation be that as it may come on if we hold that the first appellate authority's order is a non speaking order and not sustainable in law the question would be whether the uh, railway administration can be faulted on the on the ground of allegedly taking contradictory stand therefore the uh, the appeal requires to be heard by this court um court the learned uh, the respondent writ petitioner has placed reliance on the decision of the honorable supreme court in the case of girish mittal versus parvati v sundaram page 58 dated 26 4 2019 the effect of the said judgment will also be considered when the appeal is heard therefore the appeal is admitted for hearing and the uh, uh, impugned order passed in the writ petition and the direction issued therein shall remain state and the personal appearance of the uh, information officer as directed that fp by the learned single bench huh? um that the appeal on come out to appear on 12 8 124 2024 shall also yeah. remain state paper book is required on 8 uh, what i asking what are you replying sir Sorry. paper book is it required yes. 12 paper book is required with paper book one is paper book within 4 weeks if all the documents are here we can dispense with it is not there not required <laughs> yes definitely why <laughs> anamika pandey na record is there if if it is required in paper book mala you have to tell sir you are the appellant yes i am the appellant i will file a paper book informal paper pa book informal paper book mala yes right, sir usual direction you shall file in yes, formal paper file, book mala file informal paper book along with section 5 mala Section five. Five condom. First paragraph. No, the prayer is not a post condom. Next. A lot of it is a small uh, prayer that uh, tomorrow is holiday and uh, please pass an order to uh, serve this order today if possible because Friday uh, after after they transcribe immediately to be signed. because because Friday that uh, person shall be appeared uh, in person. He won't appear. Next. Three number five. My Lord, I am appearing for the petitioner in this matter. Am I audible, Lord Shri? Our time is. If you can, uh, we can sign the order today. We'll upload it. Yes. Item number five. My Lord, I am appearing for the petitioner. Am I audible, Your Lordship? Yes, yes, yes. Correct. My, uh, my Lord, uh, your matter is audible. Your audio, video, both is very, very clear. My Lord. Hmm. My Lord, uh, this matter has already been disposed upon. Oh, uh, second, directed April to. Refund. A small rectification is required in respect to the order. Uh, sir, Lordship. please come. This matter has been listed under the caption to be mentioned. It is pointed out that a typographical error has occurred in para seven of the order dated two four twenty twenty four. Order dated two four twenty twenty four. In the said paragraph, in fifth line, fourth line from the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> the, Word EVA inverted comma EVA has been has been uh, mentioned. Whereas the correct word will be 
সেনগুপ্ত <laughs> <laughs> matter was uh, dismissed for default i could not appear oh, wow. it is in paragraph three what plus. is the prayers you sought for wo jhagde tha tumha restoration of my application and lordship kindly take up no no what is the appeal against lordship lordship i am grateful lordship lordship uh, by the you order lanet lanet honorable single judge has held that educational qualification is not an defect to the substantive nature and uh, if there is any uh, and uh, that is not a ground for disqualification but how of you, mla first of all how can you challenge an election in a writ petition the pre- supreme court itself you remember the uh, division bench here allowed uh, in the panchayat election yes, of wpa 91 uh, supreme court said the only method by which the challenge can be made is by fi- filing a election petition lordship in fact the learned senior counsel who appeared for you in the writ petition was canvassing that point you see who appeared that was mr patwar patwalia your lordship no no in this kishor gupta your lordship now the ag and he is pressing with that he is always relying on so so i am not on the question of the declaration of that election is void i am on the question of disqualification to be chosen or to be continued under article 192 and that i cannot made... be gone into Lord, that Lord cannot Lord be gone lordship then lordship kindly allow me to submit my yes you submit as your lordship first of all how will you get over this objection regarding lordship i also i maintainability of the red petition my lord i am appearing for election commission india my lord my only submission is that what your lordship had pointed out my lord Because once lordship, you, did not, you before, did not raise this submission. Yes, my lord, it is there, my lord. And what is the finding of the learned judge? My lord, it has been considered in relevant paragraph. Uh, page, uh, my lord, relevant point fourteen. Already allowed. Paragraph number, you please. I, 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 I'm, I'm saying, my lord, I'm saying. My lord, paragraph twenty. Two zero. Yes, my lord, two zero. You file an election petition, sir. No. Lo- this is the only only the uh, submission read petition has not been dismissed on the ground of my loka standai lanet judge has stated that we will dismiss that, your appeal on that ground before that lordship kind, kindly grant me some hearing lordship because lordship will find well, not notify first of all lanet judge has decided first of all the other finding etc this is not a public interest lit petition lord sir you are a voter lord sir in the very same constituency lord sir no my lord no 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 no, no i am not a voter on that point. constituency that is another had it been uh, election petition could be filed by the elector or voter uh, by the candidate or the, you have been set up by a voter or a uh, i am a voter unreturned uh, candidate i am a voter of some india as a, as a citizen tax. of india i made complaint they acknowledged but thereafter they did not nothing did nothing that is why i have stated in my writ petition specifically that i am not a voter or candidate i am remediless because i have, i made complaint they have acknowledged but in point 79 they have acknowledged thereafter they did, did nothing that is why i am before your lordship i cannot file election petition pay para 36 page 11 
As held earlier, section thirty-six mm. question. Related. More importantly, as held earlier, section thirty-six questions can be raised only at the juncture of scrutiny of nominations and by the persons as mentioned in subsection one. Petitioner not being one such person was in the first place not entitled to raise such a challenge. Your local standee is gone. Lordship, under section thirty-four. Uh, 36 it is the person who can be presented at the time of scrutiny no, i am not a person to be presented at this time of scrutiny no, no, i, I raised i raised complaint okay. at the relevant it? time thereafter in spite of that nomination paper was not rejected i am not on that I shall show, I shall satisfy your lordship that educational qualification is an essential criteria and any false declaration, misdeclaration, even not, not, not declaration is a disqualification on what to be decided is? under Article 192 by the state governor. I am only prayer lordship. Lordship kindly refer the dispute to the governor to take a decision All right. under Article 192. Please take down. Lord lordship, no. I have no. brought certain judgment. Lordship, kindly, kindly allow me. Once to a place those judgments. Once the notification is issued, my lord, I will show you a judgment with the NP Swami, my lord. Once the notification is issued and date of result, my lord. And then it was issued on 2 3 2021, my lord, 2nd March. They had given the documents on 15th 4 2021. So when the ele election has already started at the meantime, my lord. On what date the writ was filed? It was filed two, two years later, my lord. Two, after two yes, years. Yes, my lord. The fact is that one Alorani Shorkar challenged. This petitioner, this Sapun Bojumdar, in an election petition, my lord. The same ground was taken with regard to the education qualification. Alorani was, it was dismissed. The oh, Alor, but on the ground that his name is appearing in Bangladesh voter, the, only ground of local stand yes. but question of whether uh, he faked his education, he still yes. remains. Malad, para 19, I have taken that point. He was para 19, my lord. Can you see, my lord, para 19? He was just waiting for that outcome of that petition. And not only that, Lordship, Larned single judge has decided everything regarding disqualification. I am not challenging. I am not uh, saying election was voted. All right. I, Please come. This is application. Lord Chief, well, Lordship, kindly allow me to place certain judgment. Yes, yes, sir. Not required, sir. Can to, to, to of 2024. This application has been filed to restore the appeal, which was dismissed for non-prosecution on 19-3-2024. We have heard the learned advocate for the parties and peruse the government set out in the affidavit and, and lordship uh, lordship before and the non-appearance of the advocate learned advocate on the set date appears to be not uh, appears to be not, in either willful nor want therefore can 2 of 2024 is allowed and the appeal is restored to the file of the court Para, we have heard the learned counsel for the parties the first uh, the uh, the uh, appellant is stated to be a voter in the state of West Bengal and has challenged the election of the 14th respondent to the West Bengal Assembly in the 2021 election. The Election Commission of India has raised a preliminary objection before the Learned Red Court with regard to the maintainability of the red petition. This has also been noted by the Learned Single Bench. That apart, we find that another person uh, no, um, that the, we find that um, the private respondent had previously filed a writ petition. Alurani is the unreturned candidate. Yes, my lord. Defeated candidate. Defeated candidate. Defeated. Yes. Lordship, Defeated before that. Mm. There is a mistake. In yeah, para you have 90, written a returned it candidate. It should be unreturned. Unreturned. Candidate. Unreturned. unreturned. Uh, it is, it is seen that one unreturned candidate by name Alorani, A L O R A N I. Not page 115, you can see the question, my lord. Challenging the uh, uh, respondent number 14's election, which was dismissed on August 13, 2024, 2021. And the appeal preferred against the same was also dismissed. After lapse of more than two years, the present appellant had filed the petition. This aspect has also been noted by the learned single bench in paragraph 19. 
further we find that the locus standi of the appellant has also been uh, considered in the light of the embargo in section 36 of the uh, act which uh, is discussed by the learned single bench in paragraph 36 of the impugned order to which we fully uh, agree therefore uh, apa, the, uh, that apart hmm, um, the, the ch ch challenge to an election uh, that too uh, it's election can be only by way of an election petition and no writ petition is maintainable uh, uh, more particularly in the absence of any monstrosity of the situation warranting exercise of jurisdiction under article 226 of the constitution the, furthermore the uh, the appellant will have no locus standi to file even an election petition and even if and assuming he had locus standi the same would be not maintainable and barred by time thus we find no grounds to interfere with the order passed by the learned single bench dismissed Next, Lordship, Lordship, may I may I place another point, Lordship? Lordship will find from the order that one appeared on behalf of private respondent, and learned judge has also recorded submission. But fact remains, no one appeared on behalf of private respondent, and no submission at all was made. Then you should have filed a review. Please call. Serial number seven. Grateful, Your Lordship. Seven will not have appeared on behalf of the appellant. My Lord, I am for the CSC, my Lord. Yes. Subject matter related to Lord, shifting of electrical <clears throat> meter, meter. Lord, electrical meter at the instance of tenant without any intimation to the landlord. Lord, the applicant before my Lord is a co-owner in respect of a premises. Hmm. Now, my Lord, the respondent number six is a tenant. Claims to have got another tenancy from another co-owner who is the respondent number five in respect of another shop room. Applies for shifting of meter. Hmm. Applies for shifting of meter. Now, with respect to his induction, I have filed a suit, obtained an order of in status quo with regard to blood nature, character and position. Blood during the pendency of this interim order, which was communicated to CSC. Without any intimation to me, CSC has shifted the meters to another place, which is adjacent to a washroom, which is frequented by Millard persons of all ages. Millard, the tenant has caused a construction Millard, at without any permission from me. Where's the coffee? Where's the coffee? Do coffee. Yes, your lordship. Now, my lord, kindly see, my lord, on the left hand side, my lord, of the meter hmm. box, my lord would find, my lord, there is a space hmm. for a gate. That is, my lord, the washroom. This is, my lord, constructed at the behest of the tenant. Hmm. I am not informed. No notice is given. The learned trial judge, my lord, takes note of it that there is no satisfactory explanation as to why notice could not be given. But the explanation of CSC that this is because of safety reasons that the meter has been shifted. But I am on a question of law. But these meters, my lord, have been existing at the, at an, the earlier place for about nine decades. The building is 100 year old. But for 90 long years, these meters were existing. If these were to be shifted, but I would be the first person to agree to it. But the status of such shift Lord could not have been without my consent. That is Lord the law. Lord kindly sees section 163 of the Electricity Act. Who are the who are the defendants in the suit? Lord, the co there are two in, defendants. In in the in in the first suit, the co another co-owner who is the respondent number five, he is Lord the she is the um, defendant. And in another suit, Lord the defendant number six, the tenant. Milot, he is so, the CSC is not a party to the CSC is not, but CSC ASC was communicated of it that this is how by violating the court's order, the tenant is trying to seek the in, uh, in, uh, uh, shift. Kindly do not do so. This was intimated, and then Milot, I made a representation 
the representation is also a part of record. I take my lot, lot to the relevant finding of the learned single judge before I take my lot to the relevant provisions of law. But the impugned order lot, it starts at page 53, April 19, 2023. And at page 56, the court records will not that no notice was served. Second paragraph. Yet the petitioner has made a point. Yes. My lord has very kindly got. Mm. So my lord, I am on my lord that I am my lord a co-owner of the premises. I was my lord to be informed, Husband. and my lord I could have objected. My lord, the dominion over the property, my lord that my lord cannot be taken lord, away from me in the name of safety. The only issue is. Uh... My lord. They are the, uh, what do you say, the technical people yes. who assess whether it is hazardous or if it is placed here or not. And court cannot adjudicate that in a red petition. I am not on that. But it, uh, we note your submission that for 90 long years the meter has been there. No untoward incident has been reported. Nonetheless, as of now, CAC is of the opinion that it may result in a hazardous situation. Sir, yes. notice on me, I shall identify your place. You say whether this place suits you. If not, I shall serve, I shall uh, offer another alternative place. But it cannot be the choice of the tenant who is suffering an interim order, nor can it be not, the choice of CSC. CSC cannot say that it will be not, beside the washroom. And it seems not, it's for my lord. It's for my lord to see my lord whether my lord, this is. But uh, sufficiently not protecting but the there security. There are several meters. My lord? There are several meters yes. bunched up. Yes, and I had not three prayers in the read petition. My first prayer was that there are about 11 defunct meters in, re in the name of dead persons who are not staying there, kindly remove them. My second prayer was that the defendant number, uh, that the respondent number six is suffering an interim order, has got the supply line, new supply line in violation of the civil court's order. So disconnect it. And my third prayer was that the shifting of meters, this is not done without any prior notice to me. It should be reshifted to the old place or to a place which I may offer subject to your approval as regards security and hazard. But the learned single judge has decided the third prayer. My first prayer with regard to the defunct meters being removed so that the the crowd which is being not, created, that my lord gives way. And the second, that the interim order, my lord, my lord knows, my lord, writ court would not be implementing the order passed by civil court, but would definitely recognize it. That is 2010 Supreme Court, Kamala Sarkar. The matter went from our court. Would recognize. Recognition of the order would mean that there exists, the party would do nothing which would stand to violate because an, uh, an act in violation of court's order is void. Hmm. So this is all that I intended to bring it to the notice of CAC that I have intimated you prior. How did you act in this way? How, with, how, who inducted them as tenants? Milot, respondent number six was rightfully inducted. Hmm. So no, no difficulty. The respondent number seven is Milot, a proprietorship concern of the respondent number six. And a new meter Milot, which could not even otherwise have been taken in the name of respondent number seven. Because proprietorship concern and the proprietor are cannot be different identities. But it's in the same premises or, or for different adjacent, adjacent adjacent premises. Adjacent. So they can obviously. So, so they cannot. The second meter could not have been taken. I brought it to the notice of the CSC. Now kindly, Milot, see, Milot, what is the law, Milot? Section 163 of the Electricity Act. Yes. My Lord has a copy of that. A power for licensee to enter premises and to remove fittings or other apparatus of the licensee. Not a meter is an apparatus of the licensee. A licensee or any person duly authorized by licensee may at reasonable time and on informing the occupier of his intention. 
enter any premises to which electricity is or has been supplied by him or any premises or land under over along across in or upon which the electric supply line or works have been lawfully placed by him for the purpose of inspecting testing repairing or altering the electric line meters meters so this covers but when statute the is ingrained no, and sixth respondent was inducted as a tenant by the appellant by the appellant by uh, uh, both the co-owners co the predecessors but i am a widow my husband will not die and this is will not nothing but a ploy will not to harass me so that i leave the place that will not would be taken care by in the civil court but i say on top of that an authority will not vested with powers under a statute will not cannot act in a manner will not in violation of principles of natural justice when it is ingrained in the statute the co owner is your husband's brother now the co owner will not is Sister Married sister in law. Sister. Sister in law. Husband's sister. Myla. And uh, the appellant is the sole legal heir of her husband, or yes, yes. Childless widow. She is a childless widow. Why are you fighting? Oh, there no. is no fight. What has happened, my lad? Initially, there was an allegation of unauthorized construction being raised at the behest of the private respondent. There are at least four petitions which have been filed by my learned friends and dismissed. And dismissed. They took up it in appeal. That appeal is pending judgment before the coordinate bench in courtroom number six. Now, in the meantime, there at least there are three civil suits in the oh. three civil suits which are, to the best of my knowledge, pending between the parties as regards to the uh, position and all these things. Mm. Now they have come up with this in this writ petition where the learned single judge has. Uh, categorically recorded that the disputes as regard to the ownership has to be decided before the civil court. That is correct. And the removal but, but of the on the date when the shifting took place, yes, uh, in favor of the tenant, there was an order of injunction, not restraining CAC from doing anything, but to maintain status quo. Yes. Status quo, which is prevailing on the date of well, as the transfer injunction oh. that was been uh, then taken the extension. I have an order to produce the, uh, that status quo is no more existed. They later file a partition suit between the two uh, co-owners. There is a status quo, which is later the of the sick thing. The vacated. initial status quo is not vacated because they didn't take any stay. And as for the... Uh, second order of status quo was after the shifting. Obviously, in the partition suit. And I'll tell you that, I tell you, they're blaming me. Let us see that. Your lordship finally comes to page 54 of the order. The last from the last portion. Hmm. Beloved, we have re received intimation from the corners that the initially the meter was in a eatery inside a kitchen, and it's an old house miller intertwined by cables. And Miller, we have made inspections. We have been from all the parties, Millard, and Millard subject to compliance of all the formalities, Millard, and we have even informed the late husband of the petitioner, who also raised no objection. Subsequently, this objection You have got records to show that he was put on notice. Milord, uh, uh, we have informed all the parties and Milord, subject to compliance. See, you are adding to the dispute. You are precipitating the dispute. Already these two people are fighting no, with each other. Milord, the main if, Milord, if, the if, bone if, of contention is the landlord-tenant dispute. Milord, we have received complaints no, that no, no. any time a fire has to happen. First, because... substantial dispute is between the co-owners. My Lord. Yes. Then the second uh, dispute is because, Milord, probably the, the tenant Milord, is siding one co The heater room was in it and you are adding eatery. fuel to the fire. Milord, inside the heater room where there are gas burners, ovens and such things. We so, are Milord, not concerned about so, we not we, we not on Let me complete the sentence. Mila, Mila. We are not concerned about your technical expertise in the matter. We cannot interfere. You are the best person to decide where the meter has to be there. It can't be here. It can be here. They are in a very short point that I am a co-owner of the property. You do anything you want. You issue notice. Probably I, do, I would have identified another, another area. But how will you get over? Commons That's case. the learned judge has given a finding which inures in favor of the appellant. That your no lordship, notice was given. Your lordship kindly comes to page 55, Milot, from the top, Milot. Milot, learned counsel having got the CSC limited by placing reliance on the evidence of opposition filed with the CSC limited categorically insists 
that the shifting was done as per the process of law upon all formalities being duly complied with by the private respondent number six. It is further submitted that the shifting was done solely keeping in view the insecurity of location of the meter box in its previous position where it was placed inside an eatery and there were adjacent gas burners located in the same eatery. You know, the next paragraph from the last quote, it is further contended that some of the corners inducted the private respondent number six and seven in the said property and the said private respondents for safety and security reason in order to avoid electrical and fire hazards made the application for shifting all right and the he same made the application for shifting you show the notice given to the appellant's husband that's it we'll dismiss the appeal hmm. the issue would be the issue involved in this appeal lies in a very narrow campus as to whether the respondent CSC, CESC had complied with the requirement under section 163 within bracket 1, within bracket small a of the Electricity Act 2003. The learned advocate for the CESC refers to the affidavit in opposition filed in the red petition, which has been noted by the learned single judge in the impugned order, stating that shifting was done as per due process of law upon all formalities being duly complied with by the private respondent number six, who is a, who is a tenant. The question would be as to whether the co-owners of the property were put on notice prior to shifting. It is the oral submission of the learned advocate for CESC that the appellant's husband, late husband, was put on notice. Was informed, Milot. Milot, about the notice or I am not sure, Milot. Let me come back to this. We delete that sentence. <laughs> the CESC is directed to produce the <laughs> original <laughs> files to, is, to show that either the appellant or her late husband were put on notice in terms of section 165 within bracket 1 of the act. <laughs> List the matter next week. Milot, after two weeks' time, Milot. After two, two weeks' time. Six. After two weeks. After, after a fortnight. 163. I said 165. Wow. Uh, so we are on 10. To list on the in the same caption on 24th April. 24th April. That will be. But can you not uh, settle this issue, sir? How old is your client? Senior citizen. Senior citizen. Madam, I am also senior citizen. <laughs> I get, I, if I go by train, I get the train, train, They want to evict me. That's the, that's the main No, no. See. That is the, there's a. No, no. They can you, harass you me somehow, anyway. They no, can you have somehow caught hold of that co-owner. And you're creating nuisance. My Lord, I tell you. Is, if it's an eatery and the meter is supposed to be near a gas burner. You're not only risking your staff, but all those people who come to the eatery. That was, that's I why we have shifted me, Lord. Well, That's why we have initially. I have now taken the dimension of one common meter box position. We will we will direct Kolkata Municipal Corporation to inspect the building, whether it is safe for inhabitants. It was it done. Is. DG Building have done so and provided the report. DG Building himself, uh, they have made several <laughs> allegation of uh, uh, no, uh, no, no, construction. Maintain the problem. The DG building himself. Both of them are fighting. Who will maintain the building? Nobody will maintain I, I, I am just a tenant mother. I have to do my business there. The fighting the co-owners. The partition suit going on. Pilot, all these suits have been instituted by my learned senior friend. All right. You have filed your written statement? And what is your stand? She's got no right. No, no. No, no, no. Then? But in one of the suits. She's the sole surviving legal heir. Of your client's brother. Hmm? But the thing is that she wants that I should not get anything in the property. That's the sole reason. For all this. No, partition means. Suit is for partition. That was not later so. on which was filed. That was later on. Forget about this injunction suit. For it, for Please don't. Uh, what do you say? What they call is piggy ride on this tenant. Today he may appear to be loyal to you. Tomorrow you will turn his back. And you will say that I am tenant by holding over. He will file an injunction against you and not pay rent for 30 years, 50 years, he will continue. So, it is better you both, you can discuss with senior advocate. If you can resolve this issue, treat him as a common enemy. Well, 
I make an end over. I make an end over. Please do that, sir. I make an end over. If both, of course, your client also won't, is not a very young lady, no? She is also senior citizen. Ah, then. Look, don't that... latch on to a tenant. After all, what is the rent you are paying, sir, every month? Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Yes. Where Where is this restaurant? This is not the restaurant. My one is a jewelry shop. The restaurant closed uh, about ten uh, fifteen years back. Jewelry shop. Yes. In which place it's located? It's uh, in uh, North Calcutta. It's in uh, Sambaja. The place. This is precious. Hmm. This is precious. The location is precious. It's in Bidhan Shawni. Bidhan Shawni. About seven kilometers from our court. I'm sorry. Very disrespectful. And what is the extent of the property is in occupation? What is that? Roughly. No, no. Four hundred square feet. Four hundred square feet. Six hundred square feet. Two shop rooms. Two shop rooms. Forty-two square feet. Forty-two square feet. Forty-two square feet. You speak, uh, you speak to your, uh, ask it's the client the, to come. Agreement is annexed to the stay application. Right? It is at page thirty. That's the old. That's the old one, Malad, which has been annexed. Page thirty, Malad, is the sheet. Is the previous point there? Measuring a length of twenty-two feet, breadth of eleven feet, height of twelve feet. Twenty-two by eleven. Roughly about that. Two hundred ten. Two hundred ten square feet. About it. Two hundred ten. Which was those square feet? Two hundred ten. And the person who signed this document is the husband of the appellant. All three of them. The second signature is my husband's, Ashok Kumar. But uh, it says, sir, in class, the covenant condition A, page twenty nine. That the tenant is at liberty to install a new electric meter. Well, that is respondent number six. Six. No difficulty with regard to that. Seven. No, seven, is seven. 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 Of six. Seven. I got trade license. Seven. That, seven. Know, there is a common service line where which ended up in a common meter board, which was inside an eatery. You have precipitated the problem. Milad, we have been and the admission for shifting, Milad. And Milad, we have considered the safety. He can even, in the wildest of dreams, he can never become the owner of the property. But the no, no, not, the not a question of ownership. No, Being no, the no. So your officials should act in accordance with law. Milad, we cannot there enter into this civil dispute. There are three co-owners, co issue notice. Then you supersede whatever is objective. But as far as I know, Milad, all the formalities were complied. You get the file, sir. My if Lord. If you are satisfied, My Lord. please tell them. My Lord. In the meantime, if you can resolve this. My Lord, I shall. I shall. My Lord. But the submission of CSC kind of notes, Milad, that the eatery lot was closed 15 years back. I do not know an eatery which no, closed no. 15 years back. Is it, is the, are the burners the still? Was are the burners the still? service board was inside an eatery which at that material point of time was running. Huh? Running. running, yes. No. Upon inspection, we have seen that it's it was incident. You get the file, let us see. My love. Next. Serial number eight. Madrasa Education Board. But, uh, this is my application for addition for addition of party, my lord. Also, this is my application. Uh, uh, Your lordship, uh, I'm appearing. Uh, Mr. Shoman Gondatta is appearing for writ petitioner's respondent. Uh, I am praying for not today as he is engaged. Again, not today. Again, again. My Except every... on the last occasion also, he was not appearing. And this is pending since last time. He's like already equipped with an order, not allowing anyone to enter into the school premises. This goes on to show the high handness of you the are managing appearing committee. For the of the six and seven. Yes, yes, Lord. And who are they? These people. Six managing committee of Ramaniya. Which, which, which has already managing. expired thirteen years oh, back, Lord. According to the stand of the party who wants uh, to be added, he says he is the validly appointed teacher. Lordship, because why I say can... right. now, if the board is not, I mean, the managing committee is not there, who will decide this dispute? The board is the uh, apex authority, the West Bengal board of Madrasa is the apex authority. Now, if if any school does not have any managing committee, the, what I go and say, the uh, rules provide that any managing committee has a maximum tenure of three years. Suppose the election is not conducted. That is why they are not allowing the election to be conducted. That's a different matter. The 
that is uh, no, no, the administrator direction. what is the purpose it is a stop gap measure why the administrator is there the administrator will uh, allow the election to be conducted in along with the page number 13 2013 you had up, up, approved the constitution and reconstitution of the managing committee for a period of 3, three years, years lordship from 27 5 2013 after that after the expiry of 3 years did you issue a direction to conduct election lordship then i am coming to your lordship's query what they did they went to the coordinate bench of the high court and got themselves equipped with an order thereafter again with another coordinate bench they got equipped with an order in the meantime in the meantime by way of wpa 10735 of 2022 a guardian member came up with an application a writ application before the honorable obijit gangopadhyay and the honorable judge was direct to us directed us to uh, have a reason or pass a reasoned order after giving a hearing for all the parties. Yeah. We passed a reasoned order. That reasoned order was again challenged in the court of Honorable Justice Lapita Banerjee in the vacation bench. Now, what in the meantime, we had already uh, appointed an arbitrator, uh, an administrator. administrator. What the order read, no further act, uh, action may be taken in, in this reasoned order. Thereafter, again, another writ petition was preferred. Uh, which was bearing number uh, 258 uh, 258582022 by which honorable justice uh, onirudh roy had observed that maidul islam the teacher in charge which was appointed by the appointed by the managing wait, committee wait, one small clarification page 31 is the order in wpa 23314 lordship correct sure. that writ petition is still pending all the writ petitions are still pending. Ah, then none, none has been disposed of. And and uh, this, uh, what is the impugned direction? The impugned direction is they will. Uh, uh, the administrator is an outsider. He should not be allowed to enter into the school premises. So therefore, there is an interim order in WPA two double three one four. How can the administrator enter? That speaking order has been stayed. No. You see, just now you only said. Page 33, hmm. having heard the learned counsels for the parties, materials placed on record, view no further effect to the impugned order dated September 29 sh should be given till the business of the regular court permits consideration of the incident. Sure. So you should seek for vacating this interim order so that our dismissal of the reputation... But in the meantime, Lordship, just in the meantime, we had already appointed an administrator. The administrator had taken the charge. That is why the Honorable Court has observed no further effect to this order should be given. So, the rightful thing is you should seek for an early hearing of 23114 of 2022. Unless that writ is dismissed, your order appointing administrator will not be sanctified. But, but your Lordship, in the later, uh, the in a later writ petition, uh, that is 3760 of 2023, this was the crux of the matter. Why? Why I say so? By order dated 22-23, Honorable Justice uh, Onirudho Rai had directed that an administrator, namely Zahid Sahut, should be appointed. It's an interim arrangement, page 25. Lordship, Lordship. It's an interim arrangement. Lordship. Against this order, is there any appeal? Uh, no, no such appeal. No. Is there. What is MAT number 1355 of 2022? That is referred in page 22. You see that in Justice Anirudh Roy's order, page 22 of the stay application. Page 25 also it is there. MAT 1355 of 2022. You don't know. What should the managing committee, the defunct managing committee had appeared? Managing committee. The managing committee. The it, manage it is their appeal, man. Their appeal, Your Lordship. It is their appeal, man. Their appeal. Okay. So, without, uh, I mean, uh, uh, okay. without okay. affecting the appeal, yeah. that uh, interim administrator was, Lord interim Lord. arrangement was done. That order has not been implemented. No. Now, there is a support question. You file a contempt. The only thing is that 
the managing committee by some means or the other they want to stay into the helm of the affair after the lapse of 7 13 years true they are enjoying an interim order and in the garb of in the garb of the uh, uh, coordinates bench order mm-hmm. which and whereas we have we have already passed a reasoned order to that all right this inter- this inter- uh, my here. application may be uh, may be considered for wait, addition wait wait here managing committee of kontai ramania no this inter- uh, interlocutory appeal to pure please and please at the instance of the west bengal board of madrasa education is directed against the order dated 12 6 2023 wpa 6520 2023 filed by the sixth respondent here in namely the managing committee comma kontai ramania hi madrasa then bracket hs is the author of higher secondary which is means hs the managing committee claimed that the private respondent is a teacher in charge of kontai ramania high madrasa within bracket hs and is wrongfully entering the school property despite being removed from the post of administrator the writ petitioner slash six respondent was permitted to move the board of secondary education to direct respondent number 5 in the writ petition from entering into the school premises the kontai ps was uh, directed to ensure that the private respondent in the writ petition who has been removed as administrator does not enter the school agreed by the same the no sir it is not board of secondary education it is board of madrasa education that is corrected subsequently hello and instead of the school it say madrasa hmm? does not enter the madrasa full stop it is seen that the appellant board granted approval of constitution slash reconstitution of the managing committee by order dated 5 8 2023 yeah. with 12 members on nam ji cho for a period of 3 years with effect from 27 5 it appears that subsequently elections have not been conducted and the appellant board would contend that the managing committee has uh, cannot exercise any jurisdiction in this regard an, uh, an order was passed by the board on 29 september 2022 which has been challenged by the uh, managing committee in wpa 23314 of 2022 and by order dated 2010 2022 the learned single bench of this court directed no further effect should be given to the said order till the writ petition is heard the writ petition is still pending and the interim order is in force in such circumstances the appellant board cannot seek for any separate direction huh? um by faulting the order passed by the learned single bench since the order passed by the board is dated september 2029 29 2022 appointment cannot be implemented in view of the interim order in the yeah. settlement petition apart from that another writ petition a small lots of small indulgence the administrator's appointment was never stayed the appointment of the administrator was but never stayed but your september 29th order there is a stay pursuant to the order passed which is abhijit gangopathya you passed a recent order they filed writ petition so lots of lots of there is also another order passed in wpa 21157 of 2022 uh dated 29 2022 wherein an interim arrangement was made the appellant learned advocate for the appellant would submit that the order has not been given effect if that trip, if that be so the remedy of the appellant is elsewhere and not by way of the subpoena 
therefore uh, the uh, the appropriate course to be adopted by the appellant is to seek for seek for disposal seek for either vacating of the interim order granted in wpa 23314 of 2022 or seek for early disposal of the writ petition and without doing so come on the appellant cannot fault the direction issued by the learned single bench thus for the above reasons we find no grounds to interfere with this dot and application this happen this case which is your application can and my application is can number 3 of 2023 merit for addition of party merit can number 3 of 2023 has been filed by at the teacher in charge of the school and my dot uh, documents that i am the teacher in charge is appearing at page 13 my dot by one firozka claiming to be the teacher in charge of the school has appointed by the board and the said teacher as said person seeks for being added as a party in the present appeal in our view no useful purpose would be served by adding the said person as a party in this appeal and if so advised the um, applicant in can 3 of 2023 namely firoz khan uh, can seek for hmm, uh impeachment as a party in wpa 23314 of 2022 and if such application is filed the same will be considered in accordance with law accordingly appeal dismiss can dismissed next tp grateful i am for the appellant mara hmm On last occasion, twenty third of February two thousand twenty four, these matters were taken up for hearing, and your lordship was pleased to pass an order. I kindly have a, kindly go through the order your lordship of your lordships. Mister Bridges, that's correct. Hmm. Yes. You wanted to rely upon certain decision. Oh, that is my. I would like to. Hmm. Oh, the, you are for the red petitioner. <laughs> And may I just first, before referring to the decisions, your lordship, can you take the list, short list of dates which we have prepared for your lordship's kind consideration? Actor, actor, copy, 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 My lord, the superintendent of this uh, university institute floated a notice inviting tender for land development by earth filling in lowland ditches and twelve meter wide road embankment of the apple. And my lord will kindly come straight away to page sixty one hmm. of the stay petition. Lord, she will find this is the tender which they floated hmm. on twenty seven January twenty fourteen. Now, my lord, kindly take the next page. You know, she will find it in the list of dates also, mm. where my lord, the appellant issued a memo requesting my lord, the uh, respondent number one, that is my lord, the writ petitioner, to execute an agreement and start the work within ten days from the date of issuance of the said notice, as my lord, the R one was the successful bidder. Now, my lord, kindly take the note, the, this letter, this is the work order rather. Kindly take my lord the work order at page sixty two. May I read out the relevant portion of the work order? This is acceptance come work order for work of land development by earth filling on lowland ditches and twelve meter wide road embankment of Gani Khan Choudhury Institute of Engineering and Technology. Your low, lowest tender amounting to rupees one crore sixty nine lakh seventy seven thousand six hundred ninety five, uh, less than the estimated cost of so and so, are uh, has is hereby accepted by the undersigned on behalf of the chairman. Board of Governors, Gani Khan Choudhury Institute of Engineering and Technology, GKCIT, Malda. Now we are requested to call up this office on this office to execute an agreement in non-judicial stamp. So, my lord, the offer was accepted and work orders were issued. Now, my lord, kindly take my lord, page sixty-four. Yes. My lord, kindly take for once, page sixty-three. This work order was forwarded to. Under Secretary to the Government of India, Department of Higher Education, Government of India, 
मतलब डीडीओ ग्रांट्स एमएचआरडी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड मतलब दी जीके सीआईटी एंड आल्सो मतलब दिस डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ सेंट्रल ऑडिट कोलकाता दैट इज सीरियल नंबर 7 6 आई एम सॉरी एंड मतलब दी डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट एंड आल्सो मतलब द चीफ कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स नाउ मतलब नाउ द पिटिशनर रिक्वेस्टेड to hand over the possession of the land your lordship will kindly take my lord page 64 yes now we'll kindly take the next page that is my lord where the possession of hand the land is handed over to the petitioner for this my lord earth filling wall page 65 yes my lord has got that now we'll kindly now take page 66 Well, this is the first running account bill raised by the petitioner. No, I think that's not in dispute. They have issued the completion certificate. They have issued the completion certificate. Well, two two running account bills were settled in favor of the petitioner. What and, is in and the under secretary also directed them to settle the bills. Page seventy. Yes. And my lord, what has happened now? That I that I dispute, my lord. My lord, I will I will come to that. My lord, the entire case on the basis of which my lord the uh, the respond the appellant has withheld the payment uh, pay, amounts payable to the petitioner on account of the execution of the works contract. That is an audit objection raised by the C A G, Comptroller and Auditor General. Kindly take their report, my lord. I will take your lordship to the entirety of the report. Start such with from page yes, twenty-one. Yes, I will place that. Well, it starts at page ninety-one. One. Well, kindly take my lord uh, this from paragraph two D. At page ninety-two, hmm. that Ministry of Education, Government of India, allotted grants in favour of NIT Durgapur. Amounting to rupees nine point zero one crores and one point five nine crores total, so and so, which was intimated to sanction orders dated thirteen March twenty fourteen. It is pertinent to mention here that in those sanction letters it was mentioned that the fund is to be utilized for the development of land in the campus as per the norms approved by the government and subject to the provisions contained in the General Financial Rules two thousand five. At that point of time, well, it was two thousand five rules. Now the sanction orders they have annexed. That it would not be out of place to mention here that in those sanction orders it was made clear that the account shall be audited by the comptroller and auditor general under section twenty subsection one of the C A G duties powers and conditions of service act nineteen seventy one. That subsequently tender for total six works were floated on uh, being being N I T number four of twenty thirteen twenty fourteen on twenty seven January twenty fourteen. For the said work, and the petitioner Malda Construction got work orders for three out of six works. Mrs. Gowri Construction Company got four work orders for two out of six works, and Mrs. Shubham Enterprise got work order for one out of the six works. G. The Chairman Board of Governors is not eligible. Meaning they themselves say that the Chairman Board of Governors is not eligible to execute the tender works as per the Memorandum of Association of GKCI CIET. As he has no financial power, so this is the first ground. Though the tender was floated, that the advertisement for the said tenders were published in Bengali newspaper Duranto Bharta and English newspaper The Mountaineer on 29th and 31st January 2014, respectively. It is pertinent to mention here that circulation for these papers is very low, and the reason for publication of advertisement in these papers are not beyond doubt. Well, again, one it is an aspersion on the officers of the university. I, the surpass surprisingly, work orders were issued to the respective companies who were declared as lowest bidders under the signature of the then superintendent engineer who was on contractual basis, and as per rule, he was not eligible to issue the work order. Another ground. I don't know what steps they have taken against the chairman and the superintendent engineer. That is an answer a question which they are required to answer. That apart from this. Present writ application. Four other writ petitions were filed. Well, this is the details of the writ petition. Kindly skip over and take K. The petitioners had reportedly com completed the work. 
So, my lord, admittedly, the petitioners had completed the work, and part payments were made under the instruction of Dr. A. N. Khan Choudhury during the chairmanship. The completion certificates were issued on seven January twenty fifteen by the self same superintending engineer who issued work orders as indicated above. The final bills were sub uh, submitted by the agencies during the mentorship of NIT Durgapur in the year twenty fifteen, and those were submitted before the mentor institute. NIT Durgapur for releasing the said payment. That Professor Prashant Sharkar, officer on special duty attached to GKCIET, on 4th March 2015, made the request to the mentor director of GKCIET, that is the director NIT Durgapur, to clear the pending bills relating to GKCIET. That subsequently, VDA communication dated 18 March 2015 under the Secretary of Government of India, MHRD. A request was made to the DI, director of NIT to clear all pending bills which had been submitted by the OSD GKCIT with the rider as follows. Hence, it may be also be mentioned if NIC, NIT Durgapur finds that any expenditure by GKCIT is against the prescribed procedure and rules or beyond the sanctioned amount, then that may be immediate that immediately be brought to the notice of this ministry. And it may be assured that prescribed procedures and rules are complied with totally by GKCIT. On a pausing here for a moment, the work order which was issued in favor of the petitioner, a copy of the work order was forwarded to this, this ministry long back in 2014. Because funds are sanctioned. Because funds are sanctioned. There is no dispute. There is no dispute. There is no dispute on that. Well, this is one. No dispute on rather uh, it's completion of works. Completion. Exit. Part payment release. Please, exactly. There are only differences or uh, the final bill. The final bill. Uh, that the after the regular director took uh, over. Yes. Uh, the audit was directed to be. Now, Malad, kindly take the audit objection. Page ninety-six. Page ninety-six, Malad. They have also annexed the audit objection, Malad. That is there, but page ninety-six would do. During test, oh, we can't go into the correctness. So that's the. I do not want to go into the correctness. I do not invite your lordship to go into the correctness of the CAG audit report because first of all, CAG audit report must pass the test of parliamentary control. I am not on that, but on the basis of the question which arises for consideration, and it's a pure question of law that on the basis of an audit objection raised by CAG. Can you withhold? Can you withhold? That is the only question which is required to be answered. And when, admittedly, the contract was, Mallard, the, the, the petitioner completed the works to the satisfaction of the authority, they may dispute that this officer was not competent, that chairman was not competent. That is up to them. And Mallard, the entire works completed. Mallard, it is at, now at the cost of the PD, at this, uh, this agencies, the contractors, and they are not ready to clear the bills. Now, Mallard, straight away, the judgments. Your lordship has gone into the audit. I need not invite because your, in fact, my lord, your lordship will find the audit report does not refer to this tender and uh, everything. The audit report simply says that this entire, but just one, just once, just once. That part of the report I must just read to your lordship. Kindly take the audit report. Kindly take my lord, page 96, the set out portion, the last paragraph at page 96 of the mm. set out portion. Accordingly, a consultant was engaged by NBCC to prepare the drawing and BOQ for tender which was vetted by the committee constituted by BOG of GKCIET on 24-2013. The committee reported the matter on 8-5-2013. It's on the other hand, the proposal was prepared and presented by superintending engineer GKCIET for execution of land development by earth filling amounting to, uh, I think, 1023.57 lakh. The proposal was subsequently approved in the sixth meeting of the Building and Works Committee, fifth meeting of the Finance Committee, and sixth meeting of the Board of Governors. The proposal was sent, then sent to the Ministry for Allocation of Fund. However, the entire construction work of GKCIET was entrusted to NBCC through MOU signed between GKCIET, Malda, and NBCC based on the structural drawing plan and estimate prepared by them. Requirement of land development by earth filling to execute the major construction work in the GKCIT was not referred anywhere in the detailed estimate of the first phase plan of NBCC. Moreover, NBCC with a letter number so and so informed GKCIT that they were not intimated about the execution of earth filling work and this causing hindrance to the construction work due to the slush after rains. 
necessity justification of executing the work of land development by earth filling was not found in any of the records made available to the audit as nbcc is executing the total construction one in work in gkcit campus at narayanpur the requirement and other feasibility of land filling should have been taken up with the master planner that is nbcc there was no evidence seeking the view of nbcc in this regard found out records instead it was evident that the institute went ahead with the work on its own keeping nbcc the executing agency for or the total construction is dark as in the estimate nbcc made provision for site development might not have been felt necessary by them to suggest such huge land filling therefore the expenditure amounting to so and so for earth work outside the plan estimate was not was irregular so matlab the 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 decision or the report of the audit objection it does not refer to matlab this tender floating of tender etc no, essentially it, what they say is they it, it should have been routed through nbcc ah uh, national building yes it should, should have been routed through nbcc and approval of nbcc was necessary for a, uh, carrying out these works and there is a financial cap Yes. Uh, in terms of the what but while the while the petitioners petitioners say, were nowhere petitioners were nowhere party to this kind of this, they say the financial cap is about thirty lakhs thirty lakhs. But that is between while that is their internal court the judgment. Yes, my lord. Kindly take for once the first one Surya construction. Well, this is the on my lord whether read petition is maintainable in case of money claims and all that. Kindly take my lord for once. This is Surya Construction. Add up three four. It's a very short judgment. This is twenty nineteen sixteen SCC seven nine four. Now let kindly take paragraph two onwards. By an order dated. So and uh, so and so, the High Court asked the appellant to make representation, and finally, the my lord, I'm so sorry, and I'm so sorry, my lord. Oh. May I just continue, my lord? Yes, sir. Yes. By an order dated twenty one ten twenty thirteen, the High Court asked the appellant to make representation, and finally, in a contempt petition moved on seven to twenty fourteen, directed Uttar Pradesh Jal Nigam to answer this representation. The representation so made was answered by the Uttar Pradesh Jal Nigam as follows: Due to the aforesaid. facts and description it is clear that rupees 113.29 lakhs has been released by the government or mela administration against the budget presented by up jal nigam mag mela swanso there is no money available under the account of mag mela 2008 of 2009 uh, of up jal nigam and could not obtain the rest of the amount from mela administration government therefore the payment regarding uh, mrs surya construction Uh, will be paid after availability of the money from the government it is therefore clear from the aforesaid order dated 22 3 that there is no dispute that the as to the amount that has to be paid to the appellant but here also there is no dispute despite this when the appellant knocked the doors of the high court in a writ petition being civil uh, writ petition so and so the impugn judgment dated 25 2014 14 dismissed the writ petition stating that the disputed questions of fact arise and that the amount due arises out of a contract we are afraid that the high court was wholly incorrect in as much as there was no disputed question of fact on the contrary the amount payable to the appellant is wholly undisputed e equally is well settled that where the state behaves arbitrarily even in the realm of contract the high court could interfere under article 226 of the constitution this being the case the work having been completed long back in 2009 we direct uttar pradesh jal nigam to make necessary payment within a period of 4 weeks and also my lord interest was awarded Four paragraph take the point. Now, my lord, the next judgment is a very recent judgment. This is my lord, twenty twenty. Wait, wait. MP case. Twenty twenty three to SCC. Twenty twenty three to SCC. Page seven zero three. My lord will kindly take paragraph eighty two. My lord, eighty two. Eighty two point two. My lord, the law has been summarized regarding my lord in. the uh, power of judicial review under article 226 in so far as contractual matters are concerned at paragraph 82 my lord kindly take paragraph 82.2 onwards the principle laid down in bareilly development authority that in case of a non statutory contract the rights are governed only by the terms of contract and the decisions 
which are purported to be followed, including Radha Krishna Agarwal, may not continue to hold good in the light of what has been laid down in ABL and as followed in the recent judgment in Sudhir Kumar Singh. The mere fact that relief is sought under a contract which is not statutory will not entitle the respondent state in a case by itself to ward off scrutiny of its action or inaction under the contract if the complaining party is able to establish that the action or inaction is per se arbitrary. Now we'll next, 82.4, an action will lie, but this is not really relevant in the present case, 82.5. After the contract is entered into, there can be a variety of circumstances which may provide a cause of action to a party to the contract with the state to seek relief by filing a writ petition. Without, and this 82.6 is very relevant, without intending to be exhaustive. It may include the relief of seeking payment of amounts due to the aggrieved party from the state. The state can indeed be called upon to honor its obligations of making payment unless it be that there is a serious and genuine dispute raised relating to the liability of the state to make payment. Such a dispute, the Supreme Court qualifies the dispute, nature of dispute, ordinarily would include the contention that agri party has not fulfilled its obligation. Here that, settled. that is settled. So, Malad, these are the main mallard. Then mallard 82.7, the existence of an alternate remedy is undoubtedly a matter to be borne in mind in declining a relief in contractual matter. Again, the question as to whether a petitioner must be told, told of the gates would depend upon the nature of the claim and relief sought by the petitioner and the questions would have, would have which would have to be decided and most importantly, whether there are disputed questions of fact, resolution of which is necessary as an indispensable prelude to the grant of relief sought. Undoubtedly, while there is no prohibition, read court even deciding, even deciding disputed questions of fact, particularly when the dispute surrounds demystifying of documents only, the court may relegate the party to the remedy of I.O. civil suit. And in this case, it's a question of law now, practically. Well, this arbitration is not there. Now, what I put the question to myself with all humility, what would be the impact of an import of CAG when a contract has been duly executed by the contractor and the CAG report indicates that there was irregularity in awarding the contract. And that's the main question now which arises for consideration, subject to a lordship's kind consideration. Now, the first judgment regarding the impact of CAG report, but I would rely on uh, this Arun Kumar Agarwal, 2013, 7 SCC, page 1. But kindly take from paragraph 54. Yes. Well, the heading, it, it, it starts with the heading CAG report. Mm -hmm. I mean, first, my lord, the uh, statutory framework for CAG, my lord, everything is discussed and also the guidelines and the rules which ordinarily are followed by CAG. Now, my lord, the, uh, now, uh, the court also considers the, uh, this, effect of CAG report and my lord acceptability of the CAG report but by, yes gospel truth yes and now my lord kindly take my lord paragraph 67 onwards 67 68 and 69 if your direct if their director defies it yeah. he loses job I know my lord <laughs> I'm aware that is why my lord in one case I will be citing a judgment rendered by this honorable court where my lord and 57 uh, is the relevant fact. Uh, yes. Also, my lord, 67. 67. And 68. 68. 66, 67, 68. And also 57. What is the name of the Lord? Chodhu. Chodhu. Yes. 
the man at the knees yeah i mean but 68 yeah. you see there is some yes since the report is from a constitutional functionary yes it commands respect yes yes man it commands but it is equally important to examine the content comments what respective ministries have to offer for cag but that is not available you please point out if there is any mistake so and so but that is not available in this present case better print it according to the yes but the next judgment মানে দিস অ্যানাদার জাজমেন্ট অন জোশি টেকনোলজি দরকার নেই ওটা দেখেলেই তো হয়ে যায় জোশি হ্যাজ বিন ফলোড না 2014 চার টা এখান থেকে পাওয়া যাবে এসিসি মানে ওয়ান জাজমেন্ট আই উইল বি সিকিং দ্য অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্স অফ ইওর লর্ডশিপস অফিসার ইয়েস ইয়েস প্লিজ আই এম সো সরি মাই লর্ড হোয়াট ইজ দ্য সাইটেশন 2014 4 এসিসি 156 156 মানে পিআইএল ওয়াজ ফাইল্ড that these kind of contracts could not be uh, granted without floating a proper tender, tender. Hmm. regularly based on the cag report the supreme court held no it can be done and cag report cannot be the basis of striking down this entire commercial transaction and in this case tender was floated the petitioners participated in the tender kindly take my lord this is a very short judgment but very appropriate but i will just take your lordship to mallard this uh, uh, paragraph this allotment of land i'm sorry state of mallard just one two three paragraphs only for the sake of this uh, facts your lordship will find the cag objection at paragraph 5 the relevant portion of cag reports reads as follows inconsistent decision to allot land at token amount this is not case of tender i'm sorry it's in but without floating mallet tender and all that auction gujarat urban development corporation a government company was authorized by the government in may 2007 to undertake the gujarat international finance city project in a joint venture with infrastructure leasing and finance companies ilfs for setting up an international finance city as per direction of the government in revenue department the collector gandhinagar handed over the advance portion of the government land admissioning so and so in valued by dlbc slbc during september so and so at 500 crores is situated at 14 survey numbers of four talukas in gandhinagar district to gudc for setting up gift city gudc proposed to government for relaxation in payment or of occupancy price for the land the chief secretary the principal secretaries of the revenue department finance department and ud uhd opined that the land shall be allotted to at market value as per extend policy on valuation of the government land however moratorium period of 2 years shall be allowed for payment of 50% of the value of land and remaining 50% as a soft loan meanwhile the ministry of commerce and industry government of india accorded formal approval in 2008 to gift company for the proposed multi surfaces acz covering area of so and so square meter for 1 rupee yes they gave it for 1 rupee yes so as per gr Yes, no, you need not read. Yes, your lordship need not read. Kindly take from paragraph ten. No, six, six, six. Yes, the petitioner here in filed a PIL before the Gujarat High Court, primarily based on the report of CAG seeking a declaration that the action of the state government for allotting land in favor of the respondent company was illegal and void, and sought for an investigation by Central Bureau of Investigation and also for consequential relief. Gujarat High Court, after hearing all the parties at length, after elaborately considering the materials and record, framed the following questions: uh, following questions, whether the report of CAG by itself can legally be made the basis for relief claimed in petition, whether the decision of the state government to develop an international one alone will be relevant. Yes. For us. Yes. Answer it. Para ten. Para ten. Ten to fourteen, my lord. Ten to fourteen. but this is my lord the perhaps the most appropriate judgment for the present case but there is another judgment of our high court where ever read this it is about 10 to 14 my lord but uh, would i take your lordship to 10 to 14 not necessary read this it is about am i copying it is Yes. A similar issue arose before the uh, before our High Court. 
where my lord land was allotted at a price which according to my lord cag was not the market value of the land this is my lord shialda commercial complex somewhere near my lord the shialda railway station and my lord now the writ petition was allowed kindly take from paragraph 7 we have considered the submissions made by learned counsel for the parties we are not inclined to go into the correctness or otherwise as your lordship had expressed your lordship view not the correctness or otherwise of the report of cag indeed the cag is not before us and we are not required to do so however we do observe that the property was allotted to riddhi siddhi pursuant to an open tender that is the case here mm. the offer of riddhi siddhi was found to be the highest in this case my lowest bid was our bid the price offered by rishdi siddhi was the best obtainable price at the relevant point of time there was no higher offer the process was entirely transparent it is nobody's case that there was irregularity or hanky panky in the tender process the property was handed over to rishdi siddhi for more than 10 years back in 2008 substantial expenditure was incurred by rishdi siddhi for developing the property into a shopping mall so in the peculiar facts of circumstances unless lease is executed in favor of rishdi siddhi ends of justice will not be served sub sub Well, then, my lord. Accordingly, we hold that since the price was obtained for the property, there was the best price that could be obtained in the market. There should not be impediment to the state permitting KMDA to execute a lease in respect of the said property in favour of Riddhi Siddhi. Well, this is the. So, my in my most respectful submissions, my lord. Whatever payment is due and due to us should be paid, and my lord, the trial court judgment may not be interfered with. These are my respectful submissions. Anything you want to say? me and my kindly takes up my report which starts at page 91 of the stay of stay application hmm. or this institution this page 91 91 my uh, i will referring from page 92 paragraph a sub paragraph a of my uh, paragraph 2 The Gonikan Chaudhary Institute of Engineering and Technology is a central government funded technical institute, and it was established in the year two thousand ten. Yes. Now, C. The institution was established and placed under mentorship of NIT Durgapur, in absence of its regular director, and the mentorship continued till sixth of August two thousand seventeen. And institute that is DKCIT got its first director on and from seventh of August two thousand seventeen. Now, a few things are essential to be well uh, scrutinized. The fund were sanctioned by the central government, mm. and my lord, kindly come to page seventy six. Ah, I'm sorry, my lord, can you give me one just? Or seventy four. I'm sorry. That should be seventy four. Seventy four. Well, it's a letter by which the fund was sanctioned. I kindly come to the bottom portion. In view of above, NIT Durgapur. I'm sorry, my lord. It's it's not fund sanctioning. It's the direction. For direction. In view of the above, NIT Durgapur is requested to clear all pending bills. Which have been submitted by OSD GKCIT immediately, as the financial year 2014-15 is closing shortly. And the next para next page 75. Hence, it may also be mentioned it NIT Durgapur finds that any expenditure made by GKCIT is against the prescribed procedure and rules or beyond the sanction amount. Then. that may immediately be brought to the notice of this ministry and it may be uh, ensured that prescribed procedures and rules are complied with totally with by the gkcit now this funds were sanctioned but uh by later did later at page 100 did it 13th of march 2014 Yes, the last paragraph, last three lines. The account shall be audited 
by the Comptroller and Auditor General of the of India under Section so and so. So that was a precondition of this sanction memo. Now, what's happened when this tender was floated by the then authority who are controlling GKCIT? My London senior esteemed senior friend has already referred that it was published in some newspaper regarding which we raised objection or we raised our doubt. Now, kindly one second come to page 94, paragraph J. Yes. And that apart from this present writ application, four other writ applications have been filed with similar prayers and other works as stated above. Now I have narrated the numbers. It ends with uh, four WP numbers so and so. Now, it is surprisingly enough that all those five writ applications have been affirmed by a single person, namely Pradeep Kumar Boshak, son of late Binoy Krishna Boshak, claiming himself as partner of the petitioner number one in each writ application. Hmm. So, my lord, advertisement made in, in such a uh, paper which was not circulated, well circulated, that was granted in favor of those institutions or those mal organization, a single man is common. A man is common everywhere. Financial responsibility was not with the chairman. He exercised the same. A temporary staff, the superintendent, he executed the tender work. He executed everything. Now, once there was a direction by the MHRD to release fund, prior to that, make a scrutiny, one of the NIT Durgapur, who had the mentor director at that point of time, they appointed a person. Kindly come to page 95, subparagraph O. That subsequently, Mr. Ajoy Kumar Mondol, the then assistant engineer, Civil GKCIT appointed by NIT Durgapur made a note of objection on 3rd June 2016 in connection with bill in question. Now NIT Durgapur Mala refused to release this amount. Subsequent thereto in 2017, the regular director came. Now he, uh, Mala, I said, directed for this audit observation. Audit observation appears at page 96 onwards. Uh, it says, but uh, surprisingly enough, page 98, 98, se second paragraph starts with further, as per rule 126 of GRF 2005, a ministry and department may, at its discretion, execute originally work only up to rupees 30 lakhs above, above which the work should have been assigned to a public work organization. Here, my lord, uh, it's about 10.5 crores. Proper advertisement was not were not there. Five organization having a common person. More than 30 lakhs should have been by a public authority. 10.5 crores by private. Now, audit observation objections were there. We were malad asked not to pay by the ministry. This is the situation. Now all ministry is appearing represented by my learned friend. I, I just pointed out on a certain dates. Hmm. But, uh, tender is dated in lot 27th of January 2014. 20? 2014, 2014. Work order issued on 25th of February 2014. Purported completion certificate Mulad issued on 7th of January Mulad 2015. Mulad the read prisoner last requested for payment on 18th of March 2015. And Mulad read petition. Sorry, Mulad. And the read petition filed on 13th of 
December 2022, after seven years. Now, whether or not the REIT was at all maintainable, I'm asking the question to myself. When a normal suit is not maintainable, how such a REIT was entertained by the London single judge? It is absolutely barred by law. Milad, uh, I will not be troubling you a lot, Milad. I just point out, Milad, in these facts and circumstances, Milad, whether Milad, read code was right, Milad, in interfering with the matter. Particularly, it involves, Milad, a serious disputed question of fact, and the claim was absolutely barred by laws, laws of limitation. Milad, uh, I just point out, Milad, two judgments, Milad, I shall, refer being, I shall be referring. One is, Milad, 2021, volume 10, SEC 690. Two thousand twenty one, volume ten, SSC six nine zero. Well, I am just referring the paragraphs. Well, you can only note down the paragraphs. Paragraphs fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty four, and twenty five. Your lawsuit kindly takes me paragraph twenty five once. I just refer it. Page will not 705, paragraph 25. Yes. A perusal of the matter shows that the collusion of some officers of the appellant to the contractor cannot be ruled out. Such collusion seems to be the basis of the repetitions filed before the owner. But in my response, I there was some collusion. Otherwise, will not, these things would not have been there. Will not kindly see, will not contact is, will not, it is will not land development by Art filling on low land of ditches. Ten crores. <laughs> Can you consider that? And Milad, another judgment, Milad, I'll be referring to your last thing, Milad. And this is uh, 2020, volume 16, SEC 759. Only, Milad, your last thing, Milad, can you text note, Milad? Paragraph 27 to 41, it deals with the lot, uh, this kind of maintainability of the repetition. Paragraph Here, the Supreme Court also said Milad, the, how the repetition was maintainable that was discussed here. But absolutely, a, purely a contextual matter, as simply because the state was one of the parties, that's why the reach should not, would, ought not have been entertained by the London single judge. And Milad, uh, so far as Milad, judgment relied upon by, learners, by my London senior friend Milad, so far as admissibility of CAG report and all these things are concerned. Milad, that can be tested Milad, in the civil court also. But uh, so far as Milad, it is absolutely a matter of fact that. There is something. It is absolutely a matter of there is something. But it has to be tested, otherwise the public money will be will not, there will be a drainage of public money. All things. Uh, these are my submissions. Third judgment reserve. Three matters. Huh? Nine to thirteen. And only one thing, Milot. The repetition was disposed of Milot on the very first day, Milot, without giving any opportunity to the respondents, Milot, for filing the evidence. No, no, and the no, file, no, no, Milot, no, no. Yes. No, no, report report. On the basis of the report. What I am saying, Milad, it should have been hard on the basis of the report. Correction, not on day one. In crores and odd. Our report, Malabi, you have taken care of Stop. After single stop. Whether anybody is Appellate site supplemented in at one fifteen PM. Serial number one to five. Judgment other. Judgment. Sure.
ಅದೇ <laughs> 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 we just read the conclusion portion thus considering the overall scenario and the complexity of the facts involved we have no doubt in our mind to hold that an impartial inquiry is required to be done by an agency which has power to probe the criminal angle stated to be involved therefore this court is of the considered opinion that it is necessary in the interest of justice and fair play and for expeditious consideration of the various complaints and allegations an impartial inquiry is required to be conducted the state has to provide the required support to the said agency to be appointed by us to inquire into the matter the petitioners have prayed for constitution of an inquiry committee to be headed by a retired honorable judge of this court considering the nature of allegations which involve crime against women as well as forcible grabbing of lands of the citizens including those belonging to scheduled tribes as well as the volume of complaints which have been brought and recorded before this court by one of the petitioners comma this court is of the considered view that instead of constituting an expert committee to be headed by a retired high court judge the central bureau of investigation may be directed to investigate and submit a report with regard to the allegations and complaints of persons of sandesh kali as cbi is already in session over the investigation in respect of an incident which very recently took place at sanjay kali the parties will be at liberty to file their complaints before cbi within a period of fortnight from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order in order to ensure confidentiality cbi shall create a dedicated portal or slash email id to which complaints can be lodged and the district magistrate not 24 parganas shall give due public adequate give adequate publicity of the same in the locality and also issue a public notice in the dailies having wide circulation in the area the text of the publication shall be in vernacular let the copies of the affidavits filed by the respective petitioner containing such allegation be forwarded to the cbi in the event the complaint disclose complaints disclose cognizable offence cbi shall proceed in accordance with law cbi shall file a comprehensive report as to the steps taken in this regard on the next date cbi shall also in, uh, inquire into and investigate the allegation of forceful forcible grabbing of land of the inhabitants of the locality and if such allegations have some foundational basis to initiate action and file a comprehensive report in this regard on the next date it goes without saying that cbi shall have the power to require any person organization government authority police authorities quasi judicial quasi governmental authorities ngos uh, uh, public spirited persons and others who may be genuinely interested in the matter to furnish information on such point or matters as in its opinion may be useful for or relevant to the subject matter 
with regard to the allegations about change of names of the owners in the revenue records illegally and also illegal conversion of agriculture land into berries for carrying on physiculture cba is directed to file a comprehensive report in that regard for conducting a thorough after uh, after conducting a thorough inspection of the revenue records and after making physical inspection of the plots alleged to have been illegally converted into berries on the next day the court shall monitor the entire investigation and shall pass further orders after the reports as directed above are filed by cba the district magistrate not 24 parganas the superintendent of police the local bodies jointly take steps to install cctv cameras in the relevant and sensitive places in the sandesh kali area the state shall sanction necessary funds and the work shall be completed on priority basis within 15 days from date waiving formalities such as tender process etc likewise the district administration and the local bodies shall install led street lights in the areas expeditiously preferably within 15 days necessary funds shall be sanctioned by the state government with regard to the protection of victims uh, and witnesses cba shall issue necessary direction to the state police as to how and in what manner protection can be granted without insisting upon the strict procedures as stipulated under the witness protection scheme you know there are two things one is that your lordship has been pleased to grant liberty to the local inhabitants to lodge the complaint within fortnight this period is to be extended no that can be extended later there are 600 affidavits this will be placed before the cba the portal will be open one email id you will start receiving we'll progress though. overnight we can't do and the other thing is uh, the sp should be directed to hand over all documents available okay. to him sp bosiran we have said we have said you are empowered to summon anybody okay. let the order work it out in case of any difficulty you come out with a, a report we will consider then kindly so tentatively we will list the matter on 2nd of may 2nd of may you know, within this period so many fias whether all such aspects you make a process very well, very well. you ask them to constitute a team very well, huh? very well. list the matter on may 2nd 2024 so let us see how it progresses yes we have considered all the submissions etc uh, the including the submissions of you are one day going to do this no no please sign no after that we can change ah uh, that uh, regarding submission of the accused also we have considered and how it went on this that you can suggest something for witness protection which the state police can implement because your report says you don't have the wherewithal yes let us see
আমি কি বলবো তুমি কোটা দিনে কোটা চলে যেত তোমাদের অনেক অনেক নাটক আছে
May I mention a matter upon notice, my lord? This battery is a combined list, my lord, and I am for the respondent. This is department's appeal. My goal is not being really let it come in supplementary list upon notice by consent, my lord. I see. What is the item number? Sixty-four of the monthly list. <laughs> and Mr. Kundalia is appearing. Who is appearing? No, uh, this my lawyer right. is there. They want uh, upgradation. upgradation. Yes. I know. A supplementary list. No, it will come in the daily. We will shift it to the daily list. Daily list. Daily. 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 Yes. daily list. My Lord, may I permit to mention one matter upon notice to be included in the list, my Lord. Hmm. This is the matter, my Lord, of my Lord Indian, uh, my Lord Indian Institute of Social Welfare and Business Management. My Lord, by a read petition, a resolution was challenged, my lord. That petition was allowed. Against that, the appellant has preferred an appeal. And by your lordship order, 27th September 2023, it has been directed that prior to May 2017, position will be retained. Hmm. But they are, my lord, in violation of that, my lord. They are not allowing me it to... It is uh, running in the mon monthly list? My lord, in the monthly list, my lord. Matter is there, my lord. 90. All right. We will try to upgrade it. My lord. I have filed one GA application, 3, my lord. That is to be my lord. Mm. GA you call for. May I have Much. your lordships kindly mm. to mention one matter. Uh, your lordship so is pleased to uh, admit cross objection. Mm. Uh, two cross objections relating to two assessment years. Mm. But unfortunately, my lord, the, in order, the only one year's figure is uh, gone down. But I'm appearing for the appellant. Mm. I, I have... Uh... Appellant. So, 14, 15 has to be included. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we'll... Uh, huh? Today? Huh? The matter has been listed under the caption to be mentioned. It is uh, submitted by the learned advocate appearing for the respondent as a C. That while admitting the cross objection in the substantial questions of law, one of the assessment years has been inadvertently omitted. Therefore, prayer is made to include the same. Accordingly, in substantial question of law number A, huh? and in substantial question of law number C, the following shall be added. This is all. Huh? Okay. And this order shall form part of the order dated 22nd March 2020. Yes.
Maloda, uh, the Lord Chief's appellate side list daily list today, fifth, item 15. Hmm. The earliest Lord Chief can take up the matter is Monday. But unfortunately, on Friday, my Lord, this contempt application relating to matter is going to be taken up. You, uh, you mentioned to the judge, learned judge, that uh, appeal is listed. It didn't reach. The matter will be on that. And they're definitely, they'll accommodate. Grateful. Grateful. Please, Please inform the other side also. Absolutely. Uh, uh, may be permitted to mention item number 19 of today's list, uh, my Lord. It is a TP matter, my Lord. Hmm. Ma Mr. Parsi is there, my lord. Hmm. So, humble request, in, maybe in, after vacation, my lord, in the month of June, 14 hmm. June. That is uh, item number? 19, my lord. 19. 17, 19. 17 18, 19. 19, 19. The month. Oh, sorry, sorry. Daily list. Huh? 18, yes. 18, yes. Yeah. Item 19. My lord. 14 or 21st June, 14 June. Or a anytime. At the request of the learned advocate appearing for the respondent. Hmm? 14 June. 14th June. Great morning. Yes, please call the list. What do you say? Daily list item number one. My Lord, in this matter, my Lord, uh, I'm paying for the appellants, my Lord. My Lord, uh, the learned advocate general is appear leading me in this matter, my Lord, because of some personal difficulty, my Lord. not available today. My Lord, my Lord. My Lord, uh, appear on behalf of the private respondent, my Lord. That some I... doc documents you had given? Yes, my Lord. Copies have been given to yes, you? Yes, yes, my Lord. And you want to respond to that? Uh... No, no. My Lord, we had filed a... This is ready for hearing, ready my Lord. Ready for hearing. We had filed my Lord, a short is, of uh, I hope it's the... wrongly appearing as for directions, my Lord. It's ready for hearing matter, my Lord. When do you want the matter to be listed? Next week will be... Hearing will be difficult, sir. My Lord, uh, uh, I am uh, led by Mr. Rao, who is appearing virtually. Uh, Could I kindly have it on the 24th, which is the week after that for Wednesday? All right. 24th, list the matter on 24th. Same direction so that it can be taken up. Yes. Well, under hearing, my Lord, because this is not for directions. Because I hope oh, the directions... It will direct. come, come up immediately after fresh admission cases. Yes, sir. Uh, list under so and so immediately after fresh admission. Yeah. Next, yeah. I don't know what to you know. I'm on the respondent SSE, Mr. Mitchell is, is happening, he's happening virtually also in this matter. Mm. On the last occasion, my lord, your lordships had directed me to file a compilation. Mm. May I hand over the compilation? Mm. You give copy to I have given lord lordship. My lord, I have got lordship. Uh, kindly comes to page 21. The lordship. Before that, my lord, this is the point regarding CSR. Hmm? This is a point regarding in the year before 2014, hmm. whether CSR will be uh, deductible. Hmm, hmm, that hmm. is the point, my lord. Now, my lord, for that, this is unique for that particular year because on and from 1st April 2014, there is an explanation which has come in and which uh, has been held by courts that it, it is prospective in nature. Hmm. Now, the year previous to that is the only year that is uh, of relevance. And mm. this, fortunately or unfortunately, this is the year with regard to this appeal also. Mm. My Lord has passed uh, an, a, a judgment in this matter, in this aspect. My Lord, I will straight away go to that. And thereafter, my Lord, I will come back to the Orship is also a part IT of the order, which is part, part of, the of the compilation, the compilation my Lord. Mm. My Lord will kindly come to Lordship page 39 of the compilation. My Lord, it is page 39 of the compilation. Yes. My Lord will kindly see. So the finding is at Lordship page 41. Ramesh Prashad Lordship page 41, it starts. My Lord, before that. My Lord will kindly see. Now this, what was for consideration was whether this is business expenditure or not. Hmm. Now whether it, it falls within section 37 sub clause 1 or not. And whether it is CSR expense. Hmm. Now the question is C, CSR expense. If the CSR expense comes within the purview of section 37 or not. Hmm. My Lord will straight away come to my Lord's. My Lord, I invite my Lord to uh, come to paragraph 3. Under what circumstances my Lord had passed this judgment? May I but, place paragraph... But the tribunal has largely gone on the uh, 
ट्राइब्यूनल इज लार्जली सिक्सटी थ्री लॉर्ड शिव इफ आई मे हमली सबमिट द ट्राइब्यूनल द ट्राइब्यूनल इट सेल्फ हैज हेल्ड that there was a there was not a case of no inquiry the assessing officer had given yes, an opinion yes. finding that also forms a part of the order under 263 where he has quoted my submission for the now while it is 263 in 263 what the order also is also not if the aspect of delay 979 days delay is there now my lord that, that also first has to be 370 lot chief it is there. in this matter also my lord had uh, uh, condoned 979 days no my lord no. yes my lord in this matter in this matter which we are Nine sixty-five days was condoned in this matter, no, my lord, which is at page thirty-nine. That was because the respondent was a single, uh, yeah, individual. But but there is a difference in this. I'll, I'll kind, kindly allow me. If the facts are similar in the two sixty-two, my lord, I had, I had allowed in the last three yes, occasions. Yes, come to my lord's judgment. If I'm not, if I'm oh, yes, yes, not yes. allowed, my lord will kindly see the circumstances. My lord had held that this was mandated. The expense that the per that the S S C had incurred was mandatory, which is page forty one, my lord. We'll see mm. <laughs> page forty one, first line. Further, it was mandatory for the mining industries to look after the development of the area in which mines were operating, on account of creating employment opportunities, providing educational facilities to the children, etc. So it was it had it, in this case it was mandatory that five percent. Expenses had to be made. This was a specific order that was given by the government. Based on that, my lord had come to the conclusion because it is mandatory. He had to spend that amount. Now, my lord, we kindly come to the two sixty three order. In my case, now see page thirteen of the compilation, your lordship. The two sixty three order. Two sixty three order comes to the three petition page twelve, my lord. But here also their case is. For the purpose of carrying out their business activities, yes, it has become necessary for them to take, do certain things for the benefit of the people residing in the locality. My lord, my lord, I rely on Walters. Which is exactly similar. They have an issue. Office is not going to be in the petition. Lord, please take your seat. Lord, you will have your say. Lord, for that I rely on Walters because Walters has differentiated this this aspect where it has said that this might be in the form of donation. If it is donation, it's not necessary that it will it will come within the purview of thirty cent. It won't be business. No, this is not donation. So this is they uh, done arrange vocational training for the local yes. employees, uh, local uh, youth through Bengal yes. National Engineering College. Yes. yes. And carrying on health welfare program, then uh, water water and water purifiers, toilet facilities for the local schools, especially girls schools. Um, then. Power backup system for local schools. So, my lord, these are charitable, charitable objects which Walters has said that it is more in the nature of donation. There is no nexus to the business. If, if there was nexus no, to the business expenditure, that is exactly the factual finding. My lord, without doing this, they can't carry on their activity. No, here it it is not so. In Garden Reach, it is not so. Now, my lord, will kindly see what they have said. My lord, straight away comes to uh, the two sixty three order. What they have said. Which is at page twelve. Uh, Starts off page twelve, my lord, and thereafter, my lord, we we'll kindly see. Sir, this is a factual finding, sir. That these activities which were undertaken. Tribunal was... has not come to a factual finding. No, tribunal has in our case, which is what we are saying. Tribunal has not come to that factual finding, which is what the two sixty three order was to see whether this is a business expenditure or not. My lord, we'll kindly see the two sixty three order. My lord, will kindly see from page thirteen of the order what they have said. Paragraph two, as earlier explained by the GRSE during the assessment proceedings before the assessing officer, the reason for incurring the CRSE expenses is being repeat repeated here under. CRSE has been carrying on its business, that is construction and repairs of ships, mainly for the Indian Navy. In Reach and Khidirpur areas for facilitating the business of CRS, GRSE in Garden Reach and Khidirpur areas. 
it had been necessary for GRC to take up certain activities for the benefit of the people residing in the said locality. Accordingly, GRC had to arrange for vocational training for local unemployed youths through Bengal National Engineering College, Shipwood. GRC had been carrying on health welfare program for the benefit of the local people. In regard to cerebral palsy, GRC did certain works for the benefit of the local people. In the nearby areas, there had not been sufficient arrangement for water purifiers and the toilet facilities for the local schools, specifically for the girls' school, and those facilities were not up to the standard. Therefore, GRC took up the program for betterment in regard to the availability of drinking water and also for toilets. The local schools did not have proper power back of system which was affected, affecting the running of the schools in the locality. And therefore, GRC assisted in installing proper power backup system in the local schools. The local schools were also provided with computers for assisting the students in their education. Blood donation camps were also being arranged by GRSC for thalassemia and RTI patients. GRSC entered into a my Lord will kindly see this. GRSC entered into a memorandum of understanding with Tata Institute of Social Sciences in order to arrange for the upliftment of the locality wherein GRSC's business was being carried on. As there had been a number of scheduled caste people in the locality, for the benefit of them, GRSC supplied banquet. All these activities were undertaken by the GRSC for now, my Lord will kindly note this. All these activities were undertaken by GRSC for facilitating its business in the areas wherein its business was being carried out. Hence, it must be appreciated that all these expenses agreed had been incurred towards the benefits of GRC. Now, my lord, we finally see page 15, para 5. I have considered the facts and circumstances of the case and the submission of the SSE. Issue at hand pertains to claim of corporate social responsibility expenses to the team of 300.54 lakhs. SSE explained that the issue stood discussed during the impugned assessment proceeding that such expenses were necessary for facilitating its business of shipbuilding for the India Navy for mainly in reach and Kidipur areas. Expenditure were stated to have been incurred for vocational training for local employed youth, health welfare programs, arrangement for water and toilet facilities, power backup system and computers for schools etc. No doubt CSR expenses have been specified specially curbed with effect from 1-4-2015, that is assessment year 15-16 onward. But previous year debits of such kind will necessarily have to pass the test of wholly and exclusively for the purpose of business as laid down in section 37 of the Act. The SSC had debited the sum of 300.54 lakh of CSR under other expenses. It is the responsibility of any taking authority to ensure correct disallowances are made so that only the proper total income is taxed. The AO is therefore directed to go through the my Lord will kindly see. The AO is therefore directed to go through the nature and reason in each of the debits instead of merely by accepting the assertions of the SS. So, my Lord, what is being directed is that whether these expenditures are actually business expenditure or not, that the AO has not gone into. They have straight away said that these are CSR expenses, CSR expenses will come within the purview. Before 2014, therefore, it has it will go in. So now, tribunal has not got in, got has not gone into that aspect at all, my lord. My lord will kindly see the tribunal's order now, page 27. which is page 27. The, the reason I showed the earlier paragraphs, my lord, and differentiated my lord's uh, judgment was because in my lord's judgment, my lord had specifically come to a finding that it was mandatory, the expenses were mandatory. Here, the expenses are voluntary. Now, whether voluntary expenses can be treated as business expenses and uh, uh, fall within the purview of Section 37 or not, that cannot be gone into, that hasn't been gone into. My Lord may, will also see paragraph 4 of My Lord's judgment. My Lord, may I, the compilation, My Lord will kindly take the compilation once again. No, no, we, we have noted your point. Yes, My Lord. So now, my lord, you kindly see the finding of at page 27. What is this order at page 32 of the compilation? 32. Of order part by CIT appeals for the assessment year 1819. No, Lord Chief, that is the order passed by the faceless under 250. There also, they deleted the addition based on the order of the ITAT. For the... For... No, for this year only, Lord. Very important. For this year, my lord, they had thereafter... 
Oh, 1314. They implemented the order. Yes, they implemented this order. They had to implement this order. They for their purpose. Because 976. It was consequential. But order. what was the explanation for this 976 days? My Lord, kindly see the uh, finding of the uh, tribunal, my Lord. We kindly saw the finding. Page 27. But it is not a case of no inquiry. That's what the tribunal says. Sure. My Lord, tribunal says no inquiry. If my Lord sees, actually there has been no inquiry. That is what the order of the 263 is. That this inquiry has not been made. Whether it is business expenditure or not, you have not seen. Tribunal in para 8, it says. Lord Shri. In the case and on hand, it is clear that the assessing officer had called for and it obtained explanation for CSR incurred by the SSC. My explanation given by the AO is extracted by it. Uh, uh, before the AO is extracted by it in its reply to the PCIT yes. under 263. This is not a case of no inquiry on this okay. issue. It is not a case of non-application of money. Nor in a case where AO has not examined these particular expenses as alleged in point number 2 of the show cost notice of the CIT. Hello, AO has only looked into the genuineness of the pay payment, not and, the nature uh, of the payment. Um, which is under 37. That is exactly what my the argument tribunal is. also says that the expenditure incurred is in accordance with the guy. Lord, if sees page 63 of the petition, uh, they have themselves annexed that office memorandum. Um, government this of India direct, guidelines. This, this is as per the guidelines of the government of India, Lord. 63. Yeah. Page 63 of the petition, Your Lordship. Uh, not of the compilation. 63, they're going to petition. There is no 63. No, 63. In, in my page, Lordship, sees. And then it is uh, miss. Easy. <laughs> Two office memorandums, Your Lordship. 1st June and 21st September 2011. They are themselves are saying it is a, it is a, the corporate social expenditure. Well, is no, no, no. Petition. Petition doesn't have so many pages. No, no. It says CSR training programs, Lordship. workshop for sponsorship of such workmen organized by Tata Institute, etc. will be allowed to be included in CSR budget CPSCs. Lordship, then see the next page. There's another... Uh, but this is for public sector. Yeah. You are not a public sector. But I am a government undertaking your lordship. It's a government undertaking. State but government lordship. Lord Central. Central. But lordship. Central lordship. But the moot point is whether CSS is allowable for this assessment here or not. That is allowable. Well, Pakistan Copper is also a public sector. This lordship. is also my lordship. This is also a public sector. Central government undertaking your lordship. The difference is it was compulsory. Uh, mandatory in the early They months. don't do it, sir. Private sector doesn't do anything. If private sector does something, there is a quid pro quo. And Lord Chief, if I may humbly submit, the Delhi High Court in the case of Steel Authority also has given a similar proposition. It is annexed in the compilation, page 49, Steel Authority of India, Delhi High Court judgment. There also it is a central government undertaking. There also it is allowable CSR expenditure. Page 49, your Lord Chief. Question is whether it is falling within the CSR expenditure or not, right. uh, whether it is coming under 37 or not. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once no, you see uh, this appeal filed by the revenue under section 260. My Lord, would my Lord see the, the Volta's judgment once, just for my point. in some other case, my 260 capital A of the Income Tax Act 1961 within bracket the Act challenging the order dated 20th November 2020. Passed by the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal, C Bench, Kolkata, within bracket tribunal, in ITA number 1099 slash Kyol slash Suto for the assessment year 2013-14. The revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law for consideration. Page number 7, question 1, 2, and 3 alone, 4 is not required. We have heard Mr. Vipul Pundalia, Ms. Amit Sharma. Mr. Mitro, uh, Sofna Das, Siddhar Das, etc. The short issue which falls for consideration is whether the Principal Commissioner of Income Tax, no, sorry, before that, sir, the, 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 the present appeal is hopelessly barred by time, as there is a delay of 976 days in filing the appeal. We have perused the affidavit filed in support of the petition, and if we find no acceptable reasons you know, for condoning the inordinate delay in filing the appeal. However, since uh, uh, the learned uh, 
senior standing counsel for the appellant submitted that the merits of the matter may kindly be looked into uh, before taking a decision on the application for condemnation of delay and on the court and he will make an endeavor to convince the court that that there exists a substantial question of law for consideration and in such circumstances the court will be inclined to condone the delay we have heard the submissions of the learned advocate appearing for the respondent assc no we have heard the learned counsel for the respondent assc on the above submission the question which fell for consideration before the learned tribunal was whether the expense uh, expenses incurred by the um, assc which was claimed as csr expenses was admissible as a deduction under section 37 within bracket 1 of the act the uh, um, uh, the tribunal has a tribunal on going through the uh, records uh, has found that the assessing officer has considered the issue called for explanation from the assc and thereafter accepted the stand by the assc taken by the assc the Um, the PCIT issued show cause notice, calling upon the SSC to explain as to why the power under Section Two Sixty Three of the Act should not be invoked. The SSC submitted a detailed reply, duly supported with facts and figures. Nevertheless, the PCIT concluded. that no inquiry was conducted by the assessing officer and the assessing officer has to verify each of the expenses uh, um uh, each of the expenses which have been incurred by the assessee and claimed as csr expenses agreed by such order the assessee filed the appeal before the learned tribunal and the tribunal on going through the facts of the case has allowed the appeal um firstly with regard to the allegation in the order passed under section 263 that no inquiry was conducted by the assessing officer come we find that the learned tribunal upon as um, upon um, going through the documents placed has recorded a factual finding that the assessing officer had called for and obtained explanation for the csr expenses incurred by the assc and the said explanation given by the assc before the assessing officer was in fact reiterated before the pcit in response to the notice issued under section 263 of the act thus the tribunal on facts concluded that it is not a case of no inquiry uh, and nor it is a case of non application of mine this factual finding cannot be dislodged in an appeal filed under section 260 cap play of the income tax act where we are required to find as uh, where we are required to answer a substantial question of law arising for consideration with the uh, with regard to the admissibility of the expenses under section 337 within bracket 1 of the act the tribunal has taken note of the decision hmm? <laughs> the learned the tribunal has taken note of the coordinate bench of the tribunal in the case of hindustan copper limited versus cit dated 29 12020 the facts of the uh, the facts of the said case also is on similar lines as in the said case also the assc was a public sector undertaking and certain directives issued by the government of india was followed by the assc um there are two notifications issued by the government of india the first of which is by office memorandum dated 21st june 2011 wherein the expenditure incurred by public sector undertakings in the form of fee charged for participation in csr training programs slash workshops or for sponsorship of workshops slash programs organized by tata institute of social sciences etc will be allowed to be included under the csr budget 
of the CSR budget of central public sector enterprises. The other notification is dated uh, 1st November 2011, which gives guidelines, you know, which stipulates the guidelines on corporate social responsibility for central public sector enterprises. Uh, admittedly, the Respondent SSE has uh, complied with the said directives issued by the Government of India. Furthermore, uh, identical issue was considered by this court uh, in the case of Principal Commissioner of Income Tax versus Ramesh Prasad Sao, SAO, page 39 of the conclusion. 2023-155-taxman.com 256 within bracket Calcutta. Wherein yeah. the SSC company was engaged in iron ore mining and had incurred expenditure no, incurred periphery development expenses for territorial welfare as well as welfare of local people in the, in, in the area in which mines were operating as per the direction of the local administration and such CHR, CSR expenses incurred by the SSC prior to the assessment year 2015-16 were held to be allowable as business expenditure as same were wholly and exclusively incurred for purpose of business. In the case of Principal Thank Commission you. of Income Tax versus Steel Authority of India Limited, 2023, 149taxman.com, 132 within bracket Delhi, page 49 of the compilation. The court took into consideration more or less similar facts and circumstances concerning a public sector undertaking and allowed the expenses, CSR expenses. Hello. Thus, yeah. on facts, we are convinced that the expenses were allowable, more so when the respondent SSC is a public sector undertaking and they had carried out the notifications and they have implemented the notifications issued by the government of India. This full stop. The specific case of the SSC is that uh, they incurred the expenditure hmm? um, for facilitating the business of construction and repair of ships, mainly for the Indian Navy. And they were required to take up certain activities for the benefit of the people residing in the said locality. Uh, the, the, thus, we are of the view that the matter is entirely factual and no substantial question of law arises for consideration. Therefore, the application as well as the appeal are dismissed. The deeply obligation. Next. Anuj. No petition. Item number three. I am for the. Yes, your lordship. There is a the delay, delay of five hundred. Delay of five hundred one days. What is the issue? No petition. Issue is your honour two sixty three on two sixty three on my lord on uh, share capital your lordship, and your lordship in the order of the CIT the next CIT was done the two sixty three on which they have now come up. In the order, your lordship has, uh, will see that in the last paragraph. Page number? Yes, your lordship. Lord, it is a 43 pages order. So Tribunal's order. Tribunal's order. No, 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 no. no I'm, I'm talking of the order of the learned uh, CIT who passed the PCIT who has passed the order. The last page, page number seven of the PCIT order dated, dated, uh, 11 3 2019. That is there in the supplementary. They have given the supplementary because last two times, it. yes. Page 10 of the supplementary affidavit. Your Lordship, if you come to para 7, hmm. I have carefully considered the submission of the SEC and perused the materials available on record and found the issue pointed out in the show cause needs verification after having considered the position of law 
and facts and circumstances of the instance case, I am of the considered opinion. The amendment order passed by the is erroneous, prejudicial to the interest of recordings with Rule 2C below 263-1 of the Act on the ground of lack of inquiry. Accordingly, the assessment made by the is set aside on the issue as outlined in paragraph 2 above. So once 1263 was done, then an order was passed. Now he is again saying to lack of inquiry. So second 263. To second 263. Now he says lack of inquiry. So how many times an SSE will you suffer? Heard, sir, please come. You have heard Mr. Ariyak that so many butterjarji, so and so for the response. There is a delay of filing. There is only one thing left. By filing the appeal. The there is no acceptable explanation given by the department for condemnation of the inordinate delay. At the request of the learned advocates for the parties, on the request of learned advocates for both sides, the court also perused the order passed Amit by the tribunal as well as the order passed by the PCIT under section 263 of the act, which is a, sec yes, a, sec a second order passed under section 263. The learned tribunal had rightly come to the conclusion that um, that the uh, that a bold statement has been made that the uh, assessment order attracts explanation to within brackets yes, under section 263 of the act without a, any reasoning whatsoever. Thus, we find no grounds to interfere with the order of the tribunal. Mm. Application GA so and so is dismissed. Consequently, uh, only one thing. It is my appeal, Miller. Uh, my landfinder said, Miller, I do not object. Only on the delay, it is gone. Much of that. Thanks. Grateful, Lord. I don't know, four. Mm. 300 is all right. There is one in 300 days. Item four. He is now we'll condone the delay today. We have heard Mr. Tilak Mitra and Mr. Um, he is Rajshri Chatterjee, an advocate for the respondent SSC. Delay of 380 <laughs> days. So satisfied is so and so. It will condone. Next. I'm to the next. The delay is also done. I don't know. Five. My Lord, Five or six, I am appearing for the respondent. My Lord. How many days delay? My Lord, uh, my Lord, these are two matters. In one, my Lord has controlled Lord. the delay. And the other matter is... Uh, my Lord, I beseech my Lord to take up item number days. six, my Lord, where the delay has been condoned. And in item number five, my Lord, I prayed on the last occasion that these are identical matters arising of the yes. same order of the tribunal. And in the item number Why five, the delay it is, is the same is order. Uh, 1,012 days delay. So I thousand twelve days. It doesn't. The other one, my lord, was nine eighty or days, my lord. Was, uh, my lord has already on borderline below thousand. Same, same order, what? same point, my lord. It arose from the obligation, my lord, to take up item number six first. No, no, that's because Sutapa appeared. We condoned that. <laughs> no, this one also, my lord, kindly condones today. Because the point is, well, lord, interesting, I'm my lord. Matter may be heard on merits and the item number six. These are identical matters, my lord. No, no so we will condone today. Yes. And we will hear it next week. My Lord. One party in person is waiting. So therefore, we have to take it. My Lord. In item number six, I am for the uh, Condoned. No reasons. You know, normal order. So list the matter for admission next week. My Lord. It's five and six. Seven. I don't know what seven. My Lord has condoned the delay. Uh, Grateful. Yes. I don't know what seven. Try for the respondent. Seventh Welfare, welfare. West Bengal, West Bengal Welfare Society. There is a delay of thirteen days, my lord. Oh, delay, my lord, not delay control. Delay control. Condone, sir. Next week. Quest. Next week. Next. Well, can we be permitted to use the paper books which were filed for the tribunal? Great. I remember a copy, maybe, sir. Yes, my lord. Copy, we'll serve the copy. So it's certainly, my lord. Item number eight. Delay of 38 days, my lord. My lord. Yes. Condoned. May I file the affidavit of service in both the... the service taken on record. Item number nine. Nine, nine, merit. Mr. Amit Sharma. Yes, my, my lord. There is a delay of... 50 days, condoned. 50 days. Next. Item number 10. Filing the affidavit of service. I am for the respondent in this matter. How many days? Three ninety. 
ट्रांसफर्ड Where is the question of law then? But you also can't leave me alone. Condon Delhi, you also can't leave me alone. So please, the case will be next week. Yes, sir. Today, Mr. Soman Patacharji wants the delay to be condoned. Next week, he will make submissions on the for admission. I'm I'm deeply obliged. We have heard Mr. Soman Patacharji, learned C C standing counsel for the appellant, and Mr. R Sivaraman, learned advocate, appearing for the respondent as. There is a delay of 434 days in filing the appeal. Satisfied with the reasons given in the affidavit filed in support of the petition, the delay in filing the appeal is controlled. Let the appeal be listed for admission next week. Let the name of Mr. R. Sivaraman, an advocate appearing for the respondent SSC, be printed in the cost list along with the counsel on record. I am yes. deeply obliged, ma'am. Next, number thirteen. Well, all right. I appeal for the respondent. उंड Today list, list, today is list. Item number serial number twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty four is Camellia Education. Yes, yes. That is the same matter. Okay. Malad in that similar. Malad in that matter, I have the advantage of having a senior in twenty four. Malad. So you you don't want twenty four today. Malad, we 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 are ready. Let us see whether we can reach. I don't know. Fourteen. Next. Fourteen. Uh, But fourteen will have one hundred eight days delay. Malad. Yes. We haven't received a copy of the brief. Now you will receive. Yes, Malad. I will handle one. ट्राइब्यूनल Malad, the customs excise and service tax tribunal. Malad, this was the application which was filed by us. It runs into a little less than Malad, four uh, hundred pages. A little less than four hundred pages. So the stay application which has been filed before your lordship is a little less than I think forty pages. So relevant. None of the doc, none of the relevant documents in my respectful Malad. submission forms the part. Actually, Mr. Meiti made a representation. Yes, that you filed a writ petition in the nature of. Seeking execution of the order of the tribunal, and that has been allowed. No, yesterday. Well, my lord, there is a order. My lord, there were two writ petitions. My lord, this relates to a seizer of gold. My lord, we said that this gold has been imported by HDFC Bank, a authorized dealer. I am a manufacturer of gold ornaments, so on a regular basis, I purchase gold. Bars is bullion gold, the gold bars from HDFC Bank. So the goods which has been seized, four gold bars, were a part of my purchase. Tax invoices showed. Well, cutting the long story short, my lord, what we did is we challenged the order of seizure. Initially, the first writ petition when she was filed, we prayed for unconditional release because we say that you don't have the authority under the Customs Acts to allege that this is a this is a smuggled goods. So, well. that writ petition initially was disposed of because we had made a representation and formed a part of the writ petition for unconditional release go back to the authority unconditional release rejected that comes my second writ where i have challenged the seizer and also asked for release 
at that point of time you know the department takes a point that they have to ask under 110 a for provisional release court says that you are at liberty to ask for provisional release we take the liberty we go before the authority file an application for provisional release considered rejected on the same ground caesar against which we went before the tribunal tribunal considered my 400 page petition heard them extensively for us together order passed provisional release given my lord we we were required to give direction was one of the condition was my lord pd bond of the entire value of the gold and 25% bank guarantee given taken accepted not released for almost a month it was not released so this my lord under these compelling circumstances we filed the third writ asking for the implementation of the order because the tribunal doesn't have the power of contempt or to initiate any order of execution the power the tribunal in my respectful submission doesn't have those powers so well in that writ petition since there is no stay the order has been passed you comply with the order of the tribunal so here what is under challenge before your lordship is the order by with the provisional my 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 application for provisional release which is stood rejected has been allowed and the conditions imposed for release but this is in my in short the my lord my lord and my lord the only thing that i say is that i am a four star exporter i have bought from hdfc bank 1800 kilos of gold in the last financial year now your lordship will uh, may i please the first the tribunal's order my sorry man my lord may i please the first the tribunal's order at page 49 of my stay mm -hmm. application Or kindly see two paragraphs. The appellant is a star export house engaged in exporting jewelry. They are allowed to procure imported gold as per the <coughs> concession available. They also pro procure gold within India mostly through various authorized bank. On 10th October 2023, they have purchased 14 bars of gold from HDFC Bank. While the director was travelling with four gold bars to exchange the same with gold jewelry. on 11 10 2023 was intercepted and the gold was seized the appellants approached the calcutta high court for release of the gold on the ground that this was a legitimate procurement from hdfc bank the high court directed the appellant to approach the customs authorities for the provisional release the adjudicating authority denied their request for provisional release being aggrieved the appellants after going through the appeal papers and hearing both the sides we take the view that in the interest of justice four gold bars seized by the department are required to be released on the provisional basis what is the interest of justice where is the facts what is the denial of the order passed by the adjudicating authority that is the bad in law no record has been received let us see the adjudicating authority yes my lord then we will come to the adjudicating authority's order that is starts from page 46 <clears throat> Well, that is uh, last paragraph, page forty-six, discussion and finding. At the hearing, the petitioner claimed that they are the owners of the seized goods and requested to provisionally release the said goods and the said vehicle under section one hundred ten of the Customs Act. They claimed the goods were purchased domestically from HDFC Bank Limited under invoice with corresponding export obligation. They also enclosed the order dated nineteen one two thousand twenty-four of the Honorable High Court, Calcutta. i have gone through the facts of the records of the case it is undisputed that the 4 kg gold 1 kg each from one's possession recovered of four apprehended persons were of foreign origin all the instant gold bars had logo of the perth mint australia embossed on them with the marks of 1 kg fine gold 999 engraved on each gold bar this embossing of the logo and engraving of the declaration on the bars shows the foreign origin of the subject the instant gold bars had no other marking either in numeric or alpha numeric from the engraved on them the seed gold bars had no engraving serial number in the gold bars as is found in the gold bars sold by the designated bank i find correspondence have been made between hdfc bank in respect of the authenticity of the claim of the petitioner but the concerned bank in its reply dated 11th january 2024 to the department clearly stated bank does not provide gold bars without serial number This shows the claim of the petitioner vague and makes the contention of the petitioner unsustainable. I find during the investigation the petitioner had claimed a number of times for the legal ownership of the seized gold bars, but never could produce any licit documents either from the concerned bank or themselves 
in the honorable court or the investigating authority which conclusively proves their ownership of the seized bus. The petitioner has relied upon the judgment of the honorable Delhi High Court in such and such <coughs> dated 18 December 2023 citing the strike down of para 23 appeal period of the judgment is not over not the bond has accepted in view of the honorable court board has not yet withdrawn the para 2 of the seat circular even para 2 of the circular is treated as withdrawn fact is that the adjudicating authority has a dis discretion to allow or disallow the provides <laughs> the provisional release as the word used in section 110 a of the customs act is may adjudicate authority may allow or disallow provisional release for the reasons to be recorded in right the petitioner has claimed their ownership of the seized gold but in tune with earlier speaking order dated 15 12 2023 i reiterate the petitioner has clearly failed to substantiate their claim the banking authority from whom the seed gold bars were purported to purchase have not consented thereby disproving their claim. Thus, the primary criteria of the claim for provisional release is to be the owner of the goods. The petitioner, in spite of several appeals and opportunities, have not been able to prove themselves as the owner of the goods. The goods are foreign origin with clear foreign marking and in absence of any licit documents makes for reasonable belief to be treated as smuggled goods. I note that as the gold is commodity, Notified under section 123 of the Customs Act and the burden of proving that the seized gold was not smuggled is on the person from whose possession the gold is seized. Neither the person from whose possession gold bars have been recovered, nor the petitioner have been able to substantiate the same. In this regard, I note that the gold bars sold by HDFC Bank must have serial numbers engraved on that and these are mentioned in the packing list of the gold bars. In the instant case, I find that the seed gold bars do not have any serial numbers and it makes it impossible to correlate with the invoices and its relate, related packing list. Evidence is the essence of the argument, but the petitioner has failed to submit any conclusive evidence of the purchase of four kilos of seized gold, except trying to put up an invoice of four kilos, the details of which cannot be verified. No explanation either by the HDFC bank of the petitioner has been offered that it is the same gold as purchased from HDFC bank, then the serial number is not there in the seized gold bars. I also find the seized gold bars are the only evidence to initiate the prosecution against the persons involved in this activity. And in the event the release of the same, the primary evidence in the matter will be jeopardized. I also find that the investigation is in primary stage and the offense is still being investigated. I find the Customs Act 1962 provides for issuance of SOCOS notice within six months of seizure and the petitioner can take legal recourse after the issuance of SOCOS notice by the competent authority. You view of the such and such. But your Lord Sr. has kindly marked that. They are showing the gold that which we have purchased, but there is no serial number. And bank has clarified that when we sold the goods, there should be a serial number. Kindly see the letter of the bank. It's 21 serial number. Breaking list is there. Kindly come to page 53, man. Page 53. HD Bank C, HDFC Bank is issuing the letter to us. Yes. Okay. Kindly, paragraph 1. We have imported the gold bus of our impaneled overseas supplier. Details of import documents. ARA bill, customs invoice, packing list bill, such and such. Precious metal is imported under chapter 71 is described as that bearing manufacturers of re refiners engraved serial number and weight expressed in metric units. Bank does not provide gold bars without serial number. My Lord, your Lord will kindly come to page. On the packing list? No, no, no. My Lord, kindly come to page 35. The gold bar which we have seized. Page 35. Your Lordship kindly see. There is no marks. This has been defaced. How can you how can you come to, the, come to the conclusion that the serial number which has been given by the bank is the same, same gold? And they have in the packing list, they have marked the whichever the gold they are selling, my lord, there is the serial number. Page 24. Page 24. Can you see, Page 24. 14 gold bars. 14 gold bars number has been given. They are saying that we have purchased 14 gold bars. And there is 14 numbers. 14 numbers is there. But the gold which we have seized, my lord, there is no mark. There is no serial number. Only 4 gold bars. Only 4 gold. 10, 10 we have released. Number is 
the the ten goals which we have seen, my lord, that has been released. No, no, that no, no, we have no, not, kindly, that kindly, we have kindly not, let him not. He has seized four. It's not a question of ten. Yes, but yes. kindly see the Caesar report. No, no, no. Totally, you have purchased fourteen. No, I have purchased but thousands. But you are carrying only four. Four. Only four. So the subject matter was four all along. Yes, yes, yes. I am all along saying, my lord, that is the four subject matter. Don't say ten was released. No, no, no. They are saying that we have purchased fourteen. Okay. So in fourteen, what is the date, date of seizure? Date, date of, of seizure, my lord, that is on twelfth October, twenty twenty-three. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty-three. Twelfth October, twenty twenty-three. Now that six months period is over for issue. Lord, that they have issued most probably they have issued the notice for extension of time. of time. Yes. And what are you going to do with this gold? Confiscate, is it? I will confiscate, my lord. Now today your lordship think the value of the gold seventy one thousand and more. Please speak now. So I think lord, it will be advantageous if the gold still remains with them. The red <laughs> as, as if as if they are going to turn it into ornaments and wear them. And after that, my lord, they have prepared the writ petition wherein the honourable court has directed. In the morning, I have mentioned before your lordship to take leave, my lord. That was not in the server. Now I have got in the server, my lord. Your lordship will kindly see. Within seven working days. Seven. Within so you, seven working days. You can file an appeal and get my lord, your lordship kindly give me real my, my read my paper is ready. Leave may be granted leave now. Grant. Leave leave no copies. Grant. Yes, my lord, kindly I am serving the copy, my lord. Your lordship kindly take you it serve up. Serve copy, we will grant leave. I'll serve just now, I'll serve. See, that yeah. is only consequence. Consequence. Now this is see, it is only a case of a provisional release. So that the tribunal has what it means by interest of justice is balancing the interest, not interest of just probably it's a wrong yes. usage. Hmm? Balancing the interest but it, instead of uh, being as gold with you, he secures the amount by way of a uh, by 25 PD, PD bond 100 percent value of the gold and 25 percent in excess by bank guarantee. But uh, the tribunal could have given one paragraph reasons. Well, Lord, I because cannot. Four hundred pages you have given. Correct, correct. And, I, I, but I, I cannot. Not, I cannot actually. I cannot has failed to appreciate the ownership has not been proved. The Honorable Bombay High Court has held unless you prove the ownership, you cannot. Honorable Bombay High Court has stated, and that has been no, happened by the Honorable Supreme Court. Stated in the promise. If I may see that Bombay High Court did yes, it, yes. it was never placed before either the single judge or. No, no, that yes. situation does not arise. No, no, uh, Mr. Paiti, provisional release, other things, you can't go by precedence. You can't go by precedence, uh, some judgment in Bombay. Yes, yes, yes. Even assuming the very same officer had released, is probably it is from him, from the very same person or somebody else on similar grounds, and he has given provisional release, that can't be cited as a precedent and say that in my case also you do it. He will have to consider the yes. facts. So, my lord, now this, this is before your lordship. The tribunal has not given any for the interest of justice. We are no thing, nothing has been considered. But, uh, regard, and how... regard, regarding this marking, right. what was your defense in the tribunal? Well, some document you would have... I may just show my lord, it's all here. Ah. My lord, Mr. Mainti started from page 53. Ah. We'll my lord, kindly come back to page 53. Lord, may I just trouble your lordship with 53? Yes. My lord, this is a response of the bank. At page 53, my lord, kindly see the second line. This was a written letter written by the bank in response to a letter of the department. 6th of January, your lordship will find on the second second sentence with reference to your caption letter of 6th January. Yes. Now, my lord, if your lordship will kindly turn back the page, your lordship will find the 6th January letter. Yes. yes. My lord, before that, my lord, kindly come back to a few more letters. Where it started. Lord, if, you're, if I may just draw your lordship attention once to the first letter of the bank, which was given, which was at the time, my lord, when the four persons were arrested. The four persons were arrested when taken into custody. At that relevant point of time, before the magistrate, when we had asked for enlargement of the four persons on bail, my lord, the magistrate directed that the bank, we said that this is my tax invoice. So I cannot be held in custody for a docu for a for a seized goods or or smuggled alleged smuggled goods for which I have paid and I have bought. 
So, a report was called for by the bank. My Lord, kindly come to page 36 once. Yes. In pursuance to the order of 18th October passed by the learned magistrate Calcutta in the above referred Caesar, we confirmed that we, HDFC Bank, has sold 4 kgs of such and such bar to JS Jewels, which was which is the present respondent before your lordship, by invoice number such and such dated 10th October by delivery number such and such. We have enclosed the attested copy of the tax invoice and delivery order for your perusal. Lord, based on this document, the four accused persons were enlarged on bail. Now, now, my Lord, your Lord, she will kindly come to come to the next document when the bank writes to the uh, the authority writes to the department once again. My Lord, if your Lord, she will kindly come to page 51 first. 50A first, my Lord. 50A. There's a page number called 50A. Yes. Now, your Lord, she will see Caesar of four. My Lord, kindly make a note of the date, my Lord. 7th of December 2023. By then, my second read petition was already on board. Then, my Lord, they are writing. An investigation has been initiated against such and such, such and such, as communication dated 26th October has already been made to you with respect to the subject C's goal. Then, in view of your said reply, you are hereby sent a facsimile of the seized good bars requesting you to conclusively comment on the correlation between the seized gold bars and the tax receipt sent by you. You are request, further requested to substantiate your reply with evidence relied upon by you. So well, this is a complete intimidation. Now, my Lord, your Lord, she will see the response. Kindly okay. take page 51. Yes. Caesar of four gold. Now, my Lord, your Lord, she will see. With reference to your caption subject, an addition to our reply of 27th of October, we hereby state that as per the facsimile received from the department, we are able to confirm the following. Brand, Australian Perth Mint, 1 kilo fine gold, purity 9999. Now, my lord, if your lordship will kindly make a note of the gold bars which has been seized, which may, 36, page 36, your lordship will find. This is the exact gold bars and this is the exact Mm. Bye. Now, then comes page 52. So they have to come up with something. How do they hold on to the gold? So then, then comes 52, the query at 52, to which the first response was read out by Mr. Maithi at page 53. Now they say, what do they want? In view of your reply, intimate the following. Details of specific markings of one kilo fine gold triple nine bar manufactured by such and such and sold by you, whether the serial number found to be engraved on the foreign origin gold bars are guided by law or convention. There is no law in this country known to us. There's a Bombay High Court judgment, which my learned friend has referred to. I don't know which judgment. Bombay High Court and Delhi High Court says that there is no concept of serial number. Well, I'll show you a lot. You know, with this, my Lord, kindly have a look at the tax invoice. Well, Lord, I am fortunate that he has annexed the tax invoice, but I kindly have a look at the tax invoice of the 4 kg gold at page 20. The previous page is the 10 kg gold, which we have purchased. This is the 20 kg gold, uh, 4 kg gold at page 20. 24. At page 20, my lord. 20. Yes. I get duty-free gold because I am an exporter, four-star export house. So I get duty-free gold by operation of law. And I am buying it for authorized dealer. And I will smuggle. Can you kindly look at the equity involved here? I am entitled to buy duty-free gold. But I will. I am consuming a... Actually, man. the correspondence, what they seek to do, yes. according to them, something has been effaced. Correct. I have they purchased. want them to certify that this is what has been purchased Correct. from the bank. That's as simple as that. My, my Lord, how does one certify? I am the owner. The law, as I understand, subject to correction, my Lord. The owner sure, sure. is on the person who claims to be the owner. The first owner under section 123. I have discharged my owners. But I have produced the tax invoice. Slight difference is, my Lord. gold is notified under 123. Yes, my Lord. Burden of proof is on you. I have discharged my burden. The moment I 
the moment i ballot give the tax invoice the corresponding document all fantastic 14 kgs of gold you have purchased no i have not for that is what i wanted no, to show you lord chief 100 kgs of gold you have purchased yes you have got tax invoices four kgs or four bars or four bars is intercepted seized from four persons yes all that you need to do is yes. correlate both no yes. malat here the only only Nothing only is only issue is that these that, uh, serial number has been defaced well let's assume for the sake of argument that the serial number in fact has been defaced by me i have purchased the goods they have been released for home consumption so i am the owner i have paid the consideration i have purchased it from the bank i deface it does it make it a smuggling good today i am wearing a chain i break it does it become smuggled goods yes because it is a foreign origin no i'll tell you lord chief a foreign origin has been confirmed by the bank the moment they refer to the foreign origin what part they say the bank has confirmed that js jewels has purchased so much of quantity from them this is the tax invoice yes. this is the serial number and and it is a foreign origin that, that yes, yes yes it's yes. a foreign that origin australian perth mint perth mint, mint. Perth mint. So, well, that so the foreign origin but also gets taxed. I did it. Let's proceed on the basis of the assumption I did it. But is there any law which which prohibits me so, from scratching my gold? Prohibit. But you will have to take one step forward to prove that before defacement, yes, this was the particular gold which was subject matter of purchase from the HDFC. Well, I have discharged that by not only giving the tax invoice, but the person who has sold to me he has but also it, confirmed it. that. now malot assuming for the sake of sake of argument malot provisional release today what are they going to do with the gold i am a i am i am entitled smuggled to duty free uh, smuggled gold absolute confiscation no malot if your lordship will see if your lordship will see well, of course there are decisions to say that uh, uh, it can be uh, right of redemption can be given but there's also power of absolute uh, confiscation no malot if your lordship will see gold and they will auction it Once a year in the custom house. So, well, if your lordship will see to today, house, now your lordship, it fell from your lordship that a provisional release has to be based on the so. facts of the case. If you agree, we'll send back the matter to the tribunal My within fifteen days. Let the tribunal pass a speaking order on this. Very well. That will be better. Very. Hmm. Very. Take us. Very. Very. This intra this appeal filed by the revenue under section one thirty. No, this is under Customs Act. Mighty. This is the Customs Act. One thirty. Customs. Customs. One thirty. One thirty. The Customs Act, nineteen sixty-two, challenging the order passed by the Customs Excise and Service Tax Appellate Tribunal, East Zonal Bench, Kolkata, dated twentieth February, twenty twenty-four, in Excise Appeal Number Seven Five Two Zero Two of twenty twenty. The revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law for consideration. Page substantial question of law. Oh, both of you are speaking. No, sorry, sorry, my lord. I'm sorry. At least one should listen to the court. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> substantial <laughs> question of law. Page number. My lord, page fifteen. Fifteen. The revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law. One, two, three. Four, five not required. Five is not required, my lord. One, two, three. You have heard, Mr. K. K. Mehti Tapan Banja, Mr. Mainak Bos, Mr. Siddi Ki is also there. So and so, huh? For the respondent, the short issue which falls for consideration in the instant case is whether the tribunal, by the impugned order, was right in granting provisional release of the seized gold bars, huh? By it, by imposing certain conditions, the case has had a checkered history, and as many as three writ petitions have been filed before this court, and all three of them have been disposed of. The respondent. The second writ is the Caesar challenge is still pending. So three writ petitions have been, of which two writ petitions have been disposed of, and one is pending. Yeah. Wherein the order of seizure. Is under challenge. Is subject matter of challenge. <laughs> the respondent is stated to be a four-star exp ex exporter of jewelry from India to various foreign countries, and for 
business purposes they purchase gold through authorized banking channel in this regard the respondent is stated to have purchased gold um from hdfc bank yes and uh, has uh, and is in possession of the relevant tax invoices and the delivery chalan etc issued by the uh, hdfc bank and also the serial number of the gold bars which have been purchased so a larger quantity is said to have been purchased um Well, in financial year 2022-23, I have purchased 2,227 kgs of gold. Don't disclose it. The larger, <laughs> the larger the disclosure, the greater the exposure. That <laughs> this is the reason why we are fighting. We don't want to leave. But this is this is the whole reason. Hmm. Purchase full stop. On 11/10/2023. during a vigil which was maintained by the department a vehicle was interse intercepted which was coming from park circus area towards garia hut and there were four persons sitting inside the vehicle and upon inquiry it was found that they were in possession of gold which was alleged to be smuggled gold <clears throat> the identity of the four persons three and four as the main main persons page 28 three and four three and four ah hmm. uh, name uh, identity and thereafter notice under section 102 of the act was issued ultimately on a on the alleged ground of alleged ground that the gold is smuggled gold they were seized the order of seizure has been put to challenge before this court by way of writ petition and the same is pending in the meantime the resp the respondent filed an application before the authority for unconditional release of the gold bars by representation dated 14 11 the said representation was directed to be considered by order passed by this court in wpo 1828 of 2023 dated 13 12 2023 the person there the commission of customs has passed the order dated 25 12 rejecting the prayer for unconditional release thereafter a prayer was made before this court um that oh uh, thereafter in wpo 1897 of 2023 a direction was issued interim direction was issued on 191 um uh, granting liberty to the respondent to make an application under section 110 capital a of the act no no ah and the same was directed to be considered mm -hmm. this was considered and rejected by order dated 31 2024 by the commissioner of customs 31st january my lord 31st january 2023 oh sorry 31 1 challenge no agreed by the same the uh, apple the respondent approached the tribunal with the same prayer the tribunal has by the impugned order allowed such a prayer uh, there are several factual matters which have to be gone into as regards the identity as regards the identity of the gold which was seized on um, on 11 10 2023 from four persons the photograph of the four gold bars have uh, finds place in the an annexures finds place as an annexure to the stay petition in this appeal and we find that the markings have been erased 
serial number a serial sorry serial number has been erased however the gold bar show that they are of foreign origin which according to the uh, respondent writ petitioner matches with the description as contained in the tax invoice and the delivery chalan as also confirmed by the bank by the letter at page 51 uh, delivery chalan issued by the hcfc bank the department had been addressing the hcfc bank at various stages firstly when the four persons were apprehended and uh, remanded to judicial custody and pursuant to a direction issued by the learned chief metropolitan magistrate calcutta a report was submitted wherein it was stated by the bank no report dated 20th october 2023 so submitted to the court wherein the uh, hcfc bank stated that uh, they confirmed that they have sold 4 kg gold kilo bar to the respondent wide invoice dated 10th october 2023 and the delivery order dated 10th october 2023 the attested copy of the tax invoice and delivery order was appended to the report the learned advocate for the respondent would submit that based upon the said communication the uh, the um, court of the learned chief metropolitan magistrate was pleased to enlarge the four accused on bail subsequently it is seen that the department had addressed the hdfc bank on 7 12 2023 requesting for their conclusive comments on correlation between the seized gold bars and the tax receipts sent by them reply was sent on 18 16 december 2023 stating that that uh, that they are able to confirm the brand namely uh, the australian perth mint p e r t h semicolon type of bar perth australian perth mint m i n t semicolon type of bar colon 1 k kilo fine gold and purity of bar colon 9999 once again the department has addre- addressed the hdfc bank setting out the following four questions by communication dated 6 12024 page 52 please extract 1 to 5 five questions sorry in response there to hdfc bank sent a reply to the department dated 11th january 2024 which is to the following effect please extract page 53 marked in red ball point the case of the appellant department is that the bank has taken a specific stand that the bank does not provide gold bars without serial numbers and the seized gold does not sorry sir with the serial number and the seized gold does not contain the serial number and the allegation is the serial number stands defaced in our view all these factual issues were required to be gone into uh, gone into by the tribunal while ordering or even while ordering provisional release more particularly when gold is a notified commodity under section 123 of the act of the act and if there is an allegation of smuggling of the seized gold so sorry and if there is an allegation that seized gold is smuggled gold then the onus is on the person from whom the seizure was effected to prove that the gold was validly purchased within the territory of india unfortunately the learned tribunal had not endeavored to uh, uh, do any such exercise while passing the impugned order except for observing that in the interest of justice the order is passed this in our view would be wholly insufficient because the learned tribunal is the last authority to record a finding of fact therefore an exercise has to be done by the tribunal considering the fact fact in issue thank you so much according to uh, the learned uh, advocate appearing for the respondent uh, would uh, would submit that the respondent had filed an 
an application with annexures consisting of more than 450 pages. If that is so, that at least a discussion on those documents which are placed before the tribunal is required. Since all these things are manifestly absent in the impugned order, we are constrained to interfere with this order. However, we do not wish to foreclose. Yes. Or close the uh, avenues available to the respondent and are inclined to, and while setting aside the order passed by the tribunal, we are inclined to remand the matter back to the tribunal for a fresh decision on merits and in accordance with the law after hearing the parties and considering all documents and the application be disposed of by a speaking order. The appeal is allowed with the above direction. Consequently, the substantial questions of law are left open. Time frame given. Well, your lordship had indicated your lordship will give a time frame. Ah, the, the since the seizure was affected in twenty third uh, October, October, October in October, October twenty twenty three, and the gold is still lying with the respondent department. Huh? Apple yeah. and the, the prayer uh, made in the application is being only for provisional release, the tribunal is requested to give uh, precedent to the matter and uh, endeavor to dispose it of the same as expeditiously uh, as possible, preferably within the period of 30 days from the date on which the order is communicated to the tribunal. What will happen to your appeal? Leave granted. Leave granted. <laughs> my Lord, your Lordship can pass the order now. Your Lordship can, they can give the number, my Lord, then your Lordship can dispose it all. Only on the basis I'll of memorandum of granted. Action. Sir, can you take down, sir, this intra court appeal by the department? Uh, he will give the number. The appeal, the uh, intra court appeal is direct by the department is directed against the order data WPO, uh, order data 8th April 2024. In WPO hmm. 269 of 2024, in the light of the order passed in Casta 34 uh, of 2024, dated 10th April 2024, uh, uh, the order and direction issued by the landed uh, red court requires to be interfered with since the matter has been remanded to the tribunal for a fresh decision. Accordingly, the appeal is allowed and the order passed in the red petition sense. Peter's number to be much of the why two people from Kerala came in the car? No, no, their office here in Calcutta, manufacturing unit in in out suburbs of Calcutta. Everything is here. They all workers. They are all employees of the company. The name is Kerala name, but not, nobody has come from Kerala. They are all here. They are a manufacturing unit here. Mostly, West Bengal designs are one of the best yes, well, in India. And, and my lord, it is, I am told, while doing this matter, I came to learn, gold manufacturing means handiwork of gold is the cheapest in West Bengal. Luckily, there is something which is there in this state which is which is no, considered no, no. to be all over the, one the country. Best, no, no, one of the best designs come from here. Yes. And a lot of gold comes from throughout the country, especially gold or old gold ornaments for redesigning. Correct. And I am told that uh, Tanishka has got the biggest manufacturing facility in West Bengal. Absolutely, absolutely. That is why they sponsor. And there are, the there are in the suburbs and in the districts, there are small 
small small my lord uh, job workers yes yes Well, they are they, well, they uh, monopolize and they they are the expert in designing. Akil, like sarees, one of the one of the. In fact, it won't matter where Mr. Avram Musmun Dara appeared. Hmm? Okay. Their gold was intercepted in the airport, yeah. and it was. Lalita jewelry. Lalita jewelry. I did the matter there. what to do nemesis i came here the matter came here so it was seized in the airport while he was coming in the uh, in the uh, domestic arrival lounge you know he was carrying it in hand i am told that he is one of the best jewelry designers in the whole of india uh, mr mazmundar gave some articles about it also. but ultimately they went before the tribunal etc So when when your lordship goes there, we will also carry this matter there. Well, only one indulgence, my lord. My lord, till the provisional application is disposed of by the tribe, they, they should not take any step. My lord, kindly indicate. My lord, kindly indicate that because they will take steps under section one fifty. We will not sell. We will not do anything, my lord. But token notice has to be issued. If not, that is no. We are not said anything, yes. sir. Uh, ne, one one line you add yes, in the custom. Hmm? Pre previous order, not in the uh, interrogatory uh, matter. Please, the learned advocate appearing for the respondent submits that that uh, till the uh, tribe the learned tribunal decides the matter, the department should not take steps to sell the seized gold. Absolutely, my lord. The learned uh, advocate, uh, senior standing counsel appearing for the appellant department submitted that the department would not pr proceed further and retain custody of the seized gold. Till the disposal of the application by the tribunal, learned tribunal. Other formalities should be proceeded in accordance with. Uh, liberty is granted to the department to issue show cause notice. Yes. And, and my lord, the show cause issuance of show cause notice should not should not be a bar for the consideration of the provisional. The tribunal is that give some credit. Yes, yes, I completely appreciate. Your friends are appearing in the tribunal. They know better. In this matter, I also had the occasion. The you went to the tribunal. I went to the tribunal. when i started practice i used to go at that time it was not uh, uh, sagat it was gold control tribunal gold control, control act and that they, at that point of time name was sigat not sigat ah sigat sigat yeah. now it is says that now it says that at that point of time sigat no firstly customs was not with them hmm. it was only gold control gold. appellate tribunal yes yes thereafter customs was said Then it became customs and gold, gold control appellate. Then Saint Lex says, "Saint Lex, the tax follower." Yes, great, Mr. Koli. Where is he? I'm number sixteen. Yes, sir. yes, sir. They filed a uh, affidavit on opposition. Now, what is the error? Which is see okay. review jurisdiction. Hmm? You will have to point out an error which is apparent on the face of the order. Absolutely, right, sir. So it should be a glaring error. You can't ask us to rummage through all the papers which are filed in the appeal. It is not a rehearing. That's the law. Correct. So I start. Yes. Yes. So the first and foremost error that has been done is that I have been treated as a borrower. I'm not a borrower. I'm a lender. Why, in this case, hmm. I went to the red court on a complaint that State Bank of India has taken ninety-two point five six lakh from my account without my consent. So I am not a borrower. i am a lender in this case and second thing sir please look at me as an msme i contribute 33% to the economy of the country to the country's economy i please protect me please give me some benefit of doubt don't no we can give you liberty to restore your application before the debt recovery trust so please do that too that that is be your appropriate remedy 
no, they, they, no, it won't be, sir. That's the, not that I am forced to go. But please hear my review petition, sir. Hear, hear my review petition. Sir, I am saying I am MSME. I am contributing 33% to the India's economy. I should be given some protection by your court. One of them is mm. the reason I went to the Red Court was because State Bank of India took money from my account without my consent. A borrower is one who borrows money from the bank, doesn't pay it back, and then he goes to he sent to DRT, and then everything what happens, whatever happens, happens. Sir, this is the first case where the borrower comes and gives your money back to the bank, say, here's your money, withdraw my limits. Instead of doing that, being grateful for that, they make me an NPA. They steal my money and make me an NPA. So that is the issue. So the point, now if you can kindly come to my review petition, point number one, I'll take two points uh, uh, from your uh, order, sir. So if you look at it, just for the purpose of uh, this uh, discussion, if you can just kindly look at me as a borrower, as a lender and not a borrower, for two reasons. So you have cited a very fantastic judgment given by somebody. Uh, I'll tell you his name right now. In your judgment. Yes, sir. On page number, your judgment, sir, your page number. The page numbers are in the bottom of the page. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yes, sir. Page number 6 or 15. Hmm. Point 10, Satyavati Tandon, it is observed. Hmm. So what is this judgment is saying? On uh, point 43 to 46. Okay, hmm. sir? Especially hmm. 43 and 46 specifically. So what is the judgment saying? This judgment is saying that people, borrowers should not be allowed to go to the red court. They should avail of the remedies in the DRT where the alter alternative remedies are available. Why? Because it will slow down the project, the project will get scrapped, people will be in trouble, it's bad for the economy. So that's exactly what's happened to me. State Bank taking my money has collapsed my project. Seven and a half crores has gone, sir. Kerala police has scrapped the project. They took my money, which I was supposed to... Sir, I want to show you one document, sir. Please see this. This is very important. I'm asking for extra privileges on basis of based on being an MSME. Kerala police gave me this money with the specific condition. Specific condition. Sir, can you please? Um, uh, last part of the point number four. With the specific condition, I will complete the project in four, uh, two months. Sir, I completed in 13 months. Now, what has happened, sir? After four years, the project has been scrapped. Two people who are, who help us get this payment of two crore ninety four lakhs, they of course retired and things. Now they are under the scanner. Why did you help them? That means you are mixed up. And so I say with a with my hand on my heart, we didn't offer one rupee. They didn't ask for one rupee. We didn't one not one rupee was exchanged. And this is the what has happened. This is exactly what your judgment is saying, sir. So you are absolutely correct, sir. Now, if you can now come to your second point, sir, which is. Um, so, uh, so you are the author of the judgment. May, if you don't mind, can I ask you a question, sir? <laughs> <laughs> it's a judgment of the High Court at Calcutta. Okay. That is how you oh. interpret a judgment. Nothing personally you need to attribute. It is not. It is the judgment of the of your court. Correct. Of the High Court at Calcutta. Okay. Hmm. So, but can I still ask you a question? <laughs> so, I've <laughs> I've come before your lordships. At least seven, eight times, maybe nine times, ten times, maybe more. Yes, right, sir? yes. We won't In all these occasions, have I misbehaved with you? Have I come across as a person who is mentally deranged or uh, unstable? Who, said, who, who Nobody suggested anything. No, I'm just asking you. No, no. No. Sir, your judgment is suggesting that. Super. <laughs> <laughs> sir, just see what are you saying on your point number 25. Sir, you are saying... That because 1 crore 62 lakhs was credited to my account, that means I was aware of the restructuring. That means, so, and what I did, the thing is, 
you don't reargue huh? huh? that is why no i'm not reargue no no before no. you commenced i set out informed you what is the position of law so the error happens so i'm showing you the error, no, no. error. So, i'm showing you the error you have made i mean and i'm yes, not saying yes, yes. advert you you it's inadvertent me. no sir you, please hear me just two minutes more uh. inadvertent why it is inadvertent because you are not taken to account the facts of really banking technical matter so what in effect you are saying in this judgment uh, uh, point number 25 is that my account was restructured i knew about it yet i went to uh, told the bank take 92.5 92.56 lakhs cash and give me an lc for 50 lakhs so who will believe this only mr uh, onarana is a brilliant uh, lawyer he is convinced you so will anybody give 92.56 cash and say give me lc for 50 lakhs half the value that's what your judgment is saying that is the er error apparent you sir. could have filed an appeal to the supreme court no it would have sir, that i if you reject my review but obviously i'll go there i have we'll no other choice right and now ha huh? we'll do it right and yeah, now that's your choice that's your prerogative you are your no, so that you will save on limitation but you will save on limitation so from this date your limitation will be there what is limitation sir no period within which you have to file appeal in supreme court acha that said you know that was january 24 order Huh. it might have been time barred if you have received the certificate copy it may be time barred so if we reject the review today clubbing both the matters you will be within time before supreme court that will be better so if you are refusing to accept your own mistake just see the mistake you have made and that you have now understood you have heard you learned your uh, okay. but sir sir so one minute one minute okay. so one more point one more point sir uh, so one more point so yes. please allow me one more point so in their uh, objection they have said in point h that we have not given any uh, reason the reason that we given order so look at your reasons you, they i am msme i have to go before the msme committee and get an opportunity before the msme committee which was not given to me you have not even mentioned that in your order sir please we have heard uh, mr kohli uh, learn uh, applicant applicant appearing person and mr omnara and rai then a graduate appearing for the respondent bank the applicant has filed a review application seeking to review okay, the uh, judgment and order in apo 104 of 2022 now the case so we have elaborately heard the uh, we have heard we have heard uh, the applicant appear in person and we are satisfied we are, and we are convinced that the applicant has not been able to point out any error which is apparent on the face of the record the set full stop the settled legal position is that a review is not a appeal in this case therefore no grounds have been made out to entertain this review application the same is not only one thing lord our opposition may be taken on record lord, since there was directions our opposition so on so is and one more thing my lord at page 11 of the order my lord there is a typo my lord typographical error my lord that we will see later next lord. Fixed so fixed investment investment term term should should be funded be funded interest Can you 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 hear the 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 order? order? Instead of fixed investment term, should be funded in upload. 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 Okay, so you're, you're rejecting my repetition. Yes, sir. Right. Thank so, you. So Thank I just want to say one thing, sir. You know, even before the uh, completion of the hearing, you already passed the judgment. Yes. When you said go to another bank, so is that correct, sir? Next, I got seventeen. Good day, sir. May please do lots of more. Is it good day for Mr. Nara? <laughs> yes. Item seventeen. It will take some time, sir. Yes, my dear. The my lord was pleased to Mr. grant me some interim protection, which is there till Friday. So Mr. That we will extend it. So Mr. Uh, subject to my lord's convenience, Mr. I am entirely. What is the interim protection? We the initial notice was issued to Mr. The excite. Ah uh, yes yes. So yes. my lord was my lord was pleased to Mr. Uh, Since uh, no. uh sir please take down for paucity of time the matter uh, could not be heard for admission today list on so and so date the interim order granted um on 15th march 2024 is ex is uh, extended till the next hearing how should we say 
<laughs> till such and such date or until further orders whichever is yet okay on what date we have 24th okay next okay. item number 18 no no sir what we'll do is mr i we'll pass the interim order till uh, uh, 9th may no 9th may is not or till 10th may list the matter on 24th april 24th interim order till 9th may list the matter on 24th april i'm getting great the same caption got you i don't know 18 may it's a lesson tendering wala turn condition and apply the good happy of your lordship no 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 Raj. we condone the delay no my lord on the last occasion my lord dale got them to produce the record morning matter <laughs> he couldn't appear producer records my lord i wanted me my lord to produce an assessment record to my learned friend so that she can ah yes yes, yes. I have, I have given one letter. She has inspected that. And what is your finding? My lord, the documents which are placed before the tribunal are on record of, in the assessment records. Everything is there. Everything so, is there, man. Save and except there are six persons who have uh, given the share subscription. One document was missing, but for which I I have a receipted yep. copy. But the rest five are there on the records, my lord. And uh, the uh, director of the SSE is also a one of the directors. of four of the such companies who have uh, taken the share uh, share subscription and he had personally appeared before the yes, assessing yes, officer give the order sheet he had personally appeared before the officer he has provided with all the uh, details and that is in the record of the when my lord when your lordship my lord this submission was made uh... so if the entire documents were there yes. i was also surprised because my lord this has my lord fallen from my lanet friend so my lord upon receiving my lord the record i have seen and what i have seen my lord 4 crore 50 lakhs amount has not been given what was given that is of an amount of 10 lakh and 50 by lord lakh. everything so was my given lord, now he tries to make a out a case which is not there in is, the assessment is, order lord, not there before the cit appeal my lord Yes, given that is exactly my lord. That was the inquiry of your lordship. The lord. assessment my lord, order that was... speaks that no one has appeared. Nothing has been submitted, and the CIT appeal has upheld the order of the uh, assessing officer. My lord, before the tribunal, I had uh, the opportunity to produce all the documents in form of paper book, which I had done, which corroborates no, with the documents. The paper book contained the documents which you had placed before the assessing officer. Yes, my lord. And to uh, find out the truth. we asked you to yes, get the file yes, and you have seen we are, we are, file we are, if all the documents are there then no that the, that major chunk of the amount my lord the document in support of that was not provided my lord i have given so the pan was... number i have given the, f- f- to produce uh, the genuineness and credit worthiness my lord i have given the pan number i have given the uh, audited report and i have given the all the particulars my lord the director of the four companies appeared my lord who happens to be also the director of the ssc company what it appears from record my lord even the bank statement of 50 lakh that is there that has been well, produced everything was there no the tribunal faults cita for not discussing the material facts yes ma'am unfortunately the tribunal also did not discuss the material facts ma'am no, the, the tribunal there is bunch of documents available at least four pages they could have analyzed because they are tra- overturning concurrent findings of fact by two authorities yes. my lord my lord the uh, findings of facts are purpose my lord that's it my, my lord if i have, we have to say that the tribunal finding is purpose no the tribunal findings are correct my lord no no on, not on your case on a on a illustrative purpose we have to let us say we have to set aside an order of the tribunal we will have to conclude give reasons to say for x y z reasons the order is purpose no uh, discussion on this document no discussion on that document you don't find anything my lord may i uh, place the order of the tribunal the paragraph 11 says from a perusal of the paper book the documents are placed it is vivid that all share applications are so and so this is not sufficient if you agree we will send it back to the tribunal let them examine the documents and give a, um, a recent finding my lord may may i submit the paper oh, see if we have done this uh, penny stock matter hmm? so mere all this uh, saying that bank transaction etc will not sanctify the transaction 
there's something more that is required to be done so therefore let it go to the tribunal back to the tribunal let them give a finding on the document yes yes my lord what is your senior friend say he was he was erstwhile member of tribunal yes possibly we have already filed all the documents no sir uh, we lack we are not saying anything on the merits of the case uh, evo as well as cit appeals both of them held against you yes ma'am tribunal has held in your favor but tribunal should give some more reasoning because you are a member of the tribunal earlier no yes yes ma'am ah so therefore you know during your times how you will be passing the orders if suppose the all share applicants are income tax assessees yes, it yes. is a statement sun rises in the east yes my lord nobody disputes that does it mean to say that did fellow add the wherewithal to have 14 crores being routed to a company which according to them had no business activities at all so it is better it goes back to the tribunal you can uh, we will say that the tribunal may record a finding of fact with regard to the documents which were perused by because cit appeal says i uh, know ao says nothing was before him but it, it, the documents are <laughs> from, ah, but yes. in the assessment record is found very much better, there better better documents you go and appear in the tribunal report this in how many delay already yes, condoned it has been condoned this inter, this uh, sorry documents this appeal filed by the pardon sir hmm documents are in the file. Uh, we, we will fix a time limit huh? we will request the tribunal yes this up my lord will also make observe that the assessing officer has not considered at all what has been. this uh, this uh, appeal filed by the revenue under section 260 cap play of the income tax act 1961 within bracket t act is directed against the order dated february 23 2023 passed by the income tax appellate tribunal a bench kolkata in ita number 473/kol/2019 for the assessment year 2012-13 the revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law for consideration a b c page 4 and 5 we have heard mr tilak mitro prithu doria suthappa and all those three. the assessing officer while completing the assessment under section 143 within bracket 3 of the act by order dated 24/3/2015 um <clears throat> held that the assessee has failed to prove any one of the three ingredients which are required to be proved under section 68 of the act several decisions were referred to and the assessing officer concludes that there was no documents produced by the assc uh, to substantiate their claim this order was affirmed by the commission of income tax appeals 9 within bracket cita by order dated 21st january 2019 holding that merely furnishing documents in a routine way does not explain the source or credit worthiness of the party full stop further it has been held that the basis on which premium has been charged for the shares has not been explained semicolon no efforts have been made with the help of financial statements to justify the quantum of share premium charged the cita plays reliance on the decision of the kolkata bench of the tribunal in the case of blessing commercial private limited in ita number 271/kol/14 dated 286/2017 and other judgments and ultimately the appeal was dismissed on an appeal preferred by the assc before the tribunal the concurrent findings recorded by the assessing officer and the cita have been set aside and the appeal has been allowed though the fulls not say though hmm? the order uh, impugned passed by the learned tribunal runs to 14 pages and in paragraph 11 of the impugned order the learned tribunal has recorded that from the perusal of the paper book and the documents placed comma it is vivid that all the share applicants are income tax assessees comma they are filing their income tax returns comma share application form and allotment letter is available on record 
which were filed in response to the notice under section 133 within bracket 6 comma share application money was made by account pay checks and details of the, uh, no comma details of the bank accounts belonging to the share applicants and their bank statements have been furnished and all the share applicants are having substantial credit worthiness represented by their capital and reserve though such is the finding recorded by the tribunal it is not supported by facts the assessing officer has held that the assessee was a private limited company which cannot issue shares in the same manner in which public limited company does and in so far as credit worthiness of the share subscribers is concerned there must be positive evidence to show the nature and source of resources of the share sub subscribers and if the assessee was serious enough to establish its case it ought to have complied with the notices slash letters issued by the assessing officer and ought to have produced the directors of the subscribing companies before the assessing officer so that they could explain the sources from which the share subscription was made it is stated that there is no compliance either from the end of the assessee company or from the end of the alleged subscriber company this finding recorded by the assessing officer as affirmed by the cita comma if required to be set aside by the learned tribunal reasons Huh? have to be assigned therefore we find that paragraph 11 the, sorry find that the conclusion arrived at by paragraph okay. sorry okay. by the learned tribunal in paragraph 11 is insufficient to support its ultimate conclusion in allowing the assessee's appeal therefore we are of the view that the matter has to be remanded back to the tribunal for fresh consideration accordingly the appeal is allowed the order passed by the tribunal the other tribunal is set aside and the matter is remanded to the tribunal to take a fresh decision on decision on merits and accordance with law and pass a reasoned reasoned order considering the fact that the assessment is of the year 2012 13 and the assessment order was passed on 24 3 2013 pursuant to a direction issued under section 263 of the act comma we request the learned tribunal to give some precedence to the matter so that the appeal can be disposed of my, my lord only one humble submission my lord the with that we have filed all the relevant documents in the assessment in the assessment file my lord that, that much uh, that uh, we, uh, do, uh, when the when this appeal was heard earlier huh, uh, since uh the the learned counsel for the respondent assessee took a stand that all documents were placed before the assessing officer from a direction was issued to uh, to uh, to the uh, learned standing counsel for the department to call for the assessment file and uh, opportunity was granted to the learned counsel for the assessee to peruse the file and the learned counsel upon perusal would submit that all documents which have been given by the assessee find place in the assessment file except for one man uh, one, uh, one book yes ma'am except for one except for one document one company yeah, the learned tribunal shall grant liberty to the assessee to file a paper book containing all documents which they have stated to have submitted well, before the learned tribunal and if any fresh documents have to be submitted leave of the tribunal may be obtained okay. and thereafter submitted i'm extremely grateful mm -hmm. consequently substantial question of law left what we'll do ranjan enough ma huh? in the one day this for ಕೊಡಿದೀಚ ಕೊಡಿದೀಚ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ
Matter, matter, the similar matter is also appearing in the list. Matter, uh, these twenty-four, two, twenty-four. So these two may be matter hard together. Provided matter the delay in uh, item number thirteen very condoned. I think we have condoned it. We have condoned. We have tagged. Matter, huh? extremely get for one. Matter, the matter may kindly retain its position. No, no, no. We will retain. It will come down only. So Kasta, we are not able to reach, sir. My twenty-four minutes, so my it's fairly under the top. Yeah, yeah, let us see. My twenty-four, we retain its position. My twenty-four. My twenty-four. My twenty-four. Allow that, my twenty-four. Yes, yes, yes. What is this? Totally a registration. Well, we registration. My they are saying that we did not file the return on time. My twenty-four. We say that filing of return in time. My twenty-four. We say that return of first. My twenty-four. Then when we filed the return, that was also subsequently extended by a SOC. So my twenty-four. It's a very short point, my twenty-four. The only issue, Malat, which I shall be Malat indicating to your lordship that at the time of deciding by the tribunal, Malat, that notification was not in force. Neither it was shown to the tribunal. Let us see. Extremely good. Extremely good. Extremely good.